Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daryl, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful WordPress website step-by-step. -step. Now, the great part about this tutorial is that you don't need to have any sort of experience or any knowledge of coding whatsoever, because everything in this tutorial is gonna be drag and drop. Now, if you're a small business owner looking to make a website for your business, or just the average person looking to learn to make a website for the very first time, then this tutorial is for you. Now, let me give you all a quick tour of this website and show you how this page builder works. So this right here is our current landing page. Let's say you wanna go ahead and just change the title of your website with something like your business. Now we can also change the position of our text. We can change the color. We can change the font. You can be as customizable as you want with your website. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Now also for those of you who like those very beautiful video backgrounds, I'm gonna show you where you can get free video backgrounds for your website so you can incorporate this on your own website. And also a really cool feature is the gradient effect. So if you wanna have a beautiful gradient effect landing page, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. It's actually really simple and everything is visual so you can always see what you're doing. So for example, right here, my second color, I wanna do it to something like uh, this burgundy color. And then I wanna go ahead and make another change. Now I wanna change the angle of it. And we can also uh, either focus our location on one color or the other color, or both. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the website. So the first thing we're going to be doing is designing our homepage. And I'm gonna show you how you can add an image to your background right here, along with putting text. And I'm also gonna show you how you can add in buttons to your website. And these buttons can link anywhere on your website. So for instance, if you click on my contact button right here, it's gonna take you to a contact us page. And I'm gonna show you how to design and create this beautiful contact us section right here. So going back to our homepage, then I'm gonna show you all how to add in a menu to your website along with a logo. Now, if you guys don't have a logo, don't worry about it. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you where you can get a logo. And then we're gonna create this section right here and making changes to these sections are very simple. So it's just a matter of simply clicking on it and changing it to whatever you would like. So we can put something like, um, we are amazing or we are cool. And of course, all the changes right here are live. So after we create this section, we're gonna go ahead and create this section right here, which are blurbs. And you can uh, change these to any color. You can change these to any style, any font, or any position. And then right here, I'm gonna show you how you can add in these images right here. And if you notice right here, we have this unique style grid effect. So I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate this on your website. And you can totally drag and drop those images. So right here, for example, let's say you wanna go ahead and have two rows of this. So we can go ahead and just click on this duplicate row and then simply go ahead and drag this over here and maybe drag this over here. So it's that simple to make a website. So after that, I'm gonna show you all how to incorporate this parallax section right here. And then right here, we have a section with text with a simple call to action. We have an image, we have the split screen effect. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that on your own website. And then we have it again right here where you have some text and a simple call to action, again with a split screen effect. And then right here, we have our testimonial section and you can put any images you would like right here and people can go ahead and scroll through this and take a look at them. And then lastly, we have our footer. So right here, we have our menu section. We have an Instagram. So you have an Instagram, this will automatically sync up with your website. So whenever you make a picture on Instagram, it will show up right here on your website. Then right here, we have our social media icons and these will all link to your, your various uh, social media platforms. So right here, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, and Instagram and Pinterest. And then also we have this little section right here, like here, our story. And here you can go ahead and just talk about your business or your website saying, hey, this is how we got started or this is what we do. So scrolling up over here. And the next section we're going to do is the About Us page. So I'm gonna show you how you can create your own About Us page. And right here you can see we have some text with a call to action button. Right here we have these bar counters right here. So I'll show you how you can design these. You can change these to any color, any font, any style you would like. And again, right here, we're consistent with our color. So I'm gonna show you how you can add these number counters right here. And again, right here, we have the parallax effect with some number counters. So we have websites completed, customers, cups of coffee. Of course, you can change this to anything that you would like. And right here, we have some more icons to show more decor to the websites. And right here, you can introduce your team. So I'm gonna show you how you can introduce your team with this grid style image effect right here. So we have meet the team, you can insert some text. And then right here, you can go ahead and talk about your team members. And then right here, we have a testimonial section. And again, we have our footer. Now also one more thing that right here on the bottom right, if I click on this, 
it will bring you to the top of the website every single time. Now we also have a unique contact us page which I've already showed you and this will actually go straight to your email. So if someone messages you with a question, they can go ahead and put their name, their email, their message and they can go ahead and send a message and it will go directly to your inbox. Now also for those of you who want to create a blog, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate a blog as well on your website. And another really cool, amazing feature about this blog is that we can actually go ahead and change these waves right here. So this page builder has something called a shape divider and it's really cool and it's really fun. So for example, right here, let's say you wanna go ahead and change the waves right here. So on the bottom page right here, and you can change these to anything that you would like. You, know, you can change them to like a, a zigzag, you can change them to like a tilt, you can change them to all sorts of really cool stuff. And then you can go ahead and like change the height of it. So if you wanna add these to your website, uh, it's very simple to do. And then again, we can just go ahead and change the color to anything that we'd like right here. And scrolling down here, we have our blog section. And scrolling down here, we have the, the shape divider as well. So it's a kind of cool look right here. So I just basically uh, put in clouds right here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and go to our blog section now. So we'll click on this blog and our blog is going to look so amazing and so professional. So this is what your blog post will look like. And you guys can see, it just looks beautiful. It looks amazing. It looks really professional. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create this blog. Now this was actually a layout and you will actually get this for free in this tutorial. So uh, it's not gonna be like you have to design it from scratch. A lot of this is gonna be already done for you. And of course, lastly, I wanna talk about the pre-made layouts. So later on in this tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about how you can actually just get it designed from someone else, upload it, and everything will be done on your website. So it's really hard to design a website by yourself, but once you learn how to use the page builder, and then from there, you can go ahead and you know use some of these layouts. They're gonna be free layouts given to you in this tutorial that will really help you out with designing your websites, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up. So if you guys wanna make a beautiful website that's very mobile responsive, super SEO friendly, uh, keep watching because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is get our domain and hosting. And my link will actually provide you all with a 60% discount off your hosting. After that, we are going to install WordPress. After that, we are going to install a WordPress theme. And lastly, we are going to create the most amazing website ever. Now, there is a link in the description of this video. It will take you to a website called SiteGround. And you're about to a page that looks just like this right here. Now, when you get to this website, all you have to do is click on sign up. Okay, so we have three plans. So we have the startup, we have the grow big, and the go geek. Now, I recommend the grow big because with the grow big option, you get unlimited websites rather than just a single website. That's a pretty big difference. And you will also receive this 60% discount off your hosting. So when you get to this page, all you gotta do is go to order now. So go ahead and type in your new website name. So I'm gonna do my famous one, I love Kylo Ren, and go to proceed. All right, it's available, cool. If your domain is not available, it's gonna give you like an error saying, hey, you know, it's not available, go ahead and pick something else. So right here, go ahead and put in your email, and then right here, you can put in your password, confirm your password. Again, you can go ahead and put in your first name, your last name, and you know, you can fill out your company and your all this information. Scrolling down here, go ahead and give them your card number and your social security number. I am just kidding. You do not give them your social, just your credit card number. And then uh, right here, you can uh, you know put your name, etc. Now for this information right here, uh, the period, you know, I recommend doing just the 12 months because with 12 months, remember, you always get a 30 day money back. So let's just say, for example, this tutorial sucks and you're like, you know what, that did not work out for me. At least you have the confidence of knowing that you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So I would recommend the 12 months. Now for the extra services, I actually do kind of recommend these on other tutorials, I have not, but I actually recommend the domain privacy and a SiteGround site scanner is actually a pretty cool option for $20 a year for somebody to check your website daily, notify you if it's ever been hacked, uh, I would recommend that. So now the domain privacy is basically hiding your personal information if somebody tries to search you up so if you have this checked, they will not be able to search you. However, if you have the unchecked, it will be public to the internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and check on both of those. And after you fill out all this information right here, you can always go to pay now. Now I actually have an account with these guys because they've actually performed better than eight other hosting companies that I had a video for. So 
these guys are probably your best option as far as hosting because I've actually tested them and they came out first in almost every single test. Pretty incredible, pretty, pretty incredible. So right here, I'm gonna go to sign in. And you guys will go back to a page that looks just like this right here. So congratulations, you guys made it this far. You're probably, you know, still, you know, buying your domain. But uh, as of right now, you have a domain. So you have like your website, which is really, really cool. So you brought to a page that looks just like this right here. Now when you get to this page, all you gotta do is go to my accounts. So now that we've actually have our domain, we're going to install WordPress, which is basically what we use to design our website. It's like the bread and butter of everything. It kind of creates everything for us. So right here, I'm gonna go to the go to C panel right here. And it's gonna say, are you sure? You're just gonna just click on proceed. You know, never look at what they, they if there's a security warning, just press okay. You know, <laughs> just, just, just do that, you know? So anyways, you get to this page right here. Now, right off the back, you guys can already see we have WordPress right here. So go ahead and click on WordPress. Okay, and guys, also remember, if you ever have questions, if something doesn't work or something happens, they have a support team. And these guys are really cool. You can call them 24 hours a day and they're super helpful. So uh, don't feel like you're like, oh my gosh, I, I messed up and you know, this tutorial is done. <laughs> no, they have a whole support team and they have free live chat. I mean, they always there to help you and back you up. So it's really, really cool. Now over here, I'm gonna go to install now. And WordPress guys is actually probably now the most popular platform on the internet, you know, besides PHP, because you don't have to have any knowledge of coding or any of that stuff. It's just so amazing what, what, what WordPress can do in, in the invention, it's, it's incredible. So right here, I'm gonna click on this right here and go ahead and find your domain. Now you should probably only have one domain. If there's 80 of them, then you're probably, I don't know, but there should only be one right here. Now right here, make sure there is nothing there, okay? Make sure there is nothing here, okay? Or else it's gonna install your website, dash, whatever you put here, which is not what you want. So I'm gonna give your site a name. So right here, I'm gonna put uh, Daryl Wilson, and then WordPress tutorials for starters. And right here, go ahead and put your admin username. And remember guys, you can change this at any time. So don't feel like you're locked in, like it's some sort of contract, you know, you can change this anytime you want. So I'm gonna put uh, Paddywhack, that's my dog. So she's the boss, you know, Paddywhack. And then my password, I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this. So, um, you know, one time I actually left this up and someone logged into my website and delete everything. So uh, yeah, so make sure guys, you, you know, you always change your password and make sure it's always confidential, okay? Now right here, I'm just gonna put uh, my email address. Feel free uh, to email me anytime. And then right here, it's gonna say choose theme. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, right here where it says install. Oh, also for language, you guys speak different languages. Um, yeah, just go ahead and select one of them. English is generally standard, but uh, you know, go ahead and put whatever you want. So under theme to install, we don't need to put any because we're going to install another theme that I'm gonna recommend. And then right here, click on install. All right, it says like three to four minutes, but I gotta be honest, it's probably gonna be like 10 seconds. They always say like three to five minutes. Yeah, see, that was not even like a minute. That was probably, oh, 101%, wow. So that was probably less than like 30 seconds. All right, so right here, we have your administrative URL, and this is basically what you do to actually log in on your website. So go ahead and click on this. Now guys, if this takes you to a page where it looks very bizarre and it's not correct, go ahead and contact SiteGround because sometimes WordPress takes time to propagate. Sometimes it could be an hour, sometimes it could be instant, sometimes it could be a few hours, but generally it's instant, but there have been rare cases where you click on it and it takes you to like a random like page and like there's nothing there. But you should be out to a page that looks just like this right here. So congratulations guys. You guys have successfully installed WordPress. I'm very proud of you. You guys are doing amazing right now. And if you guys wanna look at your websites and just see how it is and just kinda of check it out, you can go up here to visit site. And there you go. Now this is using a different theme. It's called like, I think it's called like 27 or 26. I don't know. They. they I don't know, they, they, they make a lot of WordPress themes. I, I, try, to, I try my best to keep up with it, but um, yeah, it just doesn't work out. So over here under dashboard. Now let's go ahead and look at our list right here. So we got our domain and hosting, done, congratulations. We've installed WordPress, done, congratulations. Now we are actually going to install our WordPress theme. So before we install our WordPress theme, I wanna go ahead and familiarize you all with some of these settings right here. So on the left side right here under users, I want you to go to your profile. Now, if you ever wanna change like your, you know, your color scheme, 
So you can kind of, you know, get a little bit customizable with your settings. And also if you wanna change your password and your email, this is where you're going to do it. So right here you can see you have an email. So you can go ahead and put like your a different email if you ever wanna change it in the future. And also if you ever wanna change your password, just click on generate password and then you can always put in your own password and then just click on update. And then right here I'll say, yeah, it's weak, et cetera. But um, I'm not gonna update it for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it blank. But I do like this color scheme. So I'm gonna go ahead and update it. Now, one more thing I want you to do is go down to settings and go down to permalinks. Now I want you to change this right here to post name. Now the reason why you do this is because usually when you go to a website like Amazon or Apple and you go to their shop page, it says apple.com dash shop, right? Not Amazon or apple.com dash 102, you know, all this crazy mumbo jumbo. And this is actually good for SEO purposes. So people can actually find your website easier. So going down here, I'm gonna click on save changes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install our WordPress theme. So right here under appearance, go to themes. And for those of you who are brand new to WordPress and have no idea what a theme is, basically how it works is your site is kind of structured. So all these are different themes. You can tell there's different sort of themes and it's basically the structure of it. And it really can't be changed, but the theme that we're gonna be using, we can change it. So uh, right here under uh, popular, we actually might be able to find our theme. I think our theme actually comes up as number one, but the theme that we're going to be using is called Ocean WP. So right here. Ocean WP. Now you can also find it just by going to search themes and typing in Ocean WP. And right here, I'm gonna click on details and preview. And you guys can see it has 53 five star ratings. Now I would never, ever, ever have you guys install a bad theme. Now this looks bad right here, but don't worry. We're gonna make it look really, really cool. Uh, this, this is like a really bad preview of it, but not to worry. It's gonna look uh, really amazing. So right here, click on install. All right, it's installed, now just click on activate. Awesome, now one more thing it's going to recommend, right here it says this theme recommends the following plugin called Ocean Extra. Now right here, click on begin installing plugin. So right here, click on install. Okay, so the plugin was installed successfully. So right here, just click on return to dashboard. Now guys, you have to make sure that plugin is installed. So if that did not pop up for you, uh, just go ahead and find it, it comes with the theme. Now, for those of you who have no idea what plugins were or what we just did, so over here under plugins, we can click on installed plugins. So these are basically plugins. Now guys, th the best way I can use to describe uh, plugins is basically apps. So just like iPhones have applications like you know eBay, Chase, or some sort of app you use, or Tinder, uh, this is the same exact thing. So right here under add new, you guys are gonna see that there are hundreds, thousands of plugins. And these basically give your site extra added features. Like for example, this one right here gives you the ability to sell online. This one gives you the ability to have your website search better and actually have tutorials on both of those plugins. So later on down the road, when you, you guys are you know better than me with WordPress, you guys can always go to those tutorials and you guys can always uh, check them out and they're really, really helpful. So that's basically what plugins are in a nutshell. They're basically just apps. So for example, if someone tries to log in too many times right here, it will lock them out. So that's just a little quick rundown of what um, plugins are. So if you wanna visit your site right now, you click on right here, go to visit site. And you guys can see it looks absolutely terrible. It does not look any good. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and make it look really, really cool. Now we're actually going to install another plugin and this is called the Elementor Page Builder. It's a brand new plugin. Actually, no, it came out about only a year ago and it has just been like the number one thing for WordPress right now. It's it's really amazing what this page builder can do. So you're gonna type in Elementor. Now you may wanna make sure you install this one right here, the Elementor page builder. Now look at it, it has 100,000 active installs with very, very positive ratings. And these are all like third party plugins. So people kind of like loved it so much that they made templates for it. They made all sorts of widgets and add-ons. But I'm not gonna go through all of those because I can spend days talking about those. So right here under Elementor page builder, you wanna click on install now. It's actually really incredible. The page builder is 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 very easy to use, and uh, it's just it's it's so easy for beginners, and it's it's kind of changed how we make websites today. So scrolling down here, you can see Elementor has been activated. So let's go ahead and make some pages now. You know we need to make some pages for our websites. So right here under pages, go to all pages. So we have no pages, no pages found. So right here, click on add new. Now let's go ahead and make a home page. So right here, home page, and then I'm click on publish right here. 
All right, and then I'm gonna click on one more. So let's go to page right here. That's like the shortcut method right here. See this plus new, you can make posts like blog posts or like another user, but we'll talk a little about that a little later. So right here I'll do about us. And then one more, you need a contact page, right? So right here under page, I'm gonna do it one more time. So right here, contact us. And go to publish. All right, so we basically made the pages now. So we made the home page, we made the about us page, and the contact us page. And right here on the permalink, you can see that this is like, you know, elementor.com dash contact us. So it's not all that mumbo jumbo, that weird number stuff. So uh, that's basically why we did the post name instead. So again, if you wanna go ahead and check your website, you go up here, go to visit site. But I actually wanna create the menu first before we go crazy and do everything else. So right here under appearance, we're gonna go down to menus. All right, so go ahead and give your menu a name. Now, I always just do menu one. You know, it doesn't really matter too much what your menu name is. Uh, no one's actually gonna see it but you. So right here, I'm gonna go to create menu. Now right here under pages, I want you to click on view all and just click on all the pages. So there's two home pages and I'll explain why we have two home pages. So right here it says custom link. I wanna go ahead and delete this page. Now in the future, if you ever wanna delete a page, uh, this is how you're gonna do it off your menu. So right here, I'm gonna click on this arrow, scroll down and go to remove. So now all I have is the about us, the contact us and the home page. And you can kinda of, you know rearrange these in any which order. So uh, you know home, about, contact us. And uh, right here, I'm just gonna click on save menu. Now if you wanna drop down menu, let's say for example, you hover over it and it shows another page, all you need to do is drag this page or whatever page just like that and it'll give you a drop down menu and I'll explain uh, what that is right now. So right here, I'm gonna go to visit sites. Now the menu's not there because we actually need to set it. So right here, I want you guys to click on customize. Now this is a theme customizer. This has a lot to do with the general theme settings like the menu, the topography and other settings like that. So right here under menus, I want you to click on menus, go to menu one and then right here, there's four different places where you can you can put your menu. Well, there's actually three. There's the top, the main, and the footer. So right here, if you click on footer, you're gonna see that your, uh, I'm sorry, the top bar, you're gonna see that your menu appears up here. Now, if you want it to appear like over here, you can click on main. So you see that menu is over here, and if I take this out, this top part will disappear. And then also on the footer, which is the bottom part of the website, there you go, so we have the home, about us, and the contact us. Now if I hover over home, you're gonna see about us show up. So the reason why uh, that's happening is because I dragged the about us under the home. So if you want a drop to menu like that, that is how you accomplish it, okay? So right here, I'm gonna go to back. Now there's also one more important setting that we need to set. We need to set a home page. So when your visitors come to your website, what page do you want them to first come to? Probably your home page, right? So right here under static front page, I want you to click on that go to a static page and select the front page as your home page and go to save and publish. So now if someone visits your website, they're going to actually visit the home page first. So by clicking X, you can see I have my home page and I click on my contact us. Of course, there's nothing on it because we haven't uh, designed it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I want you to go to your home page right here and then go to edit page. So there's a few things that we need to actually change on this page right here. So I want you guys to scroll down right here and you're gonna see Ocean WP settings. Now basically what this is, it's the settings for the theme. So right here under content layout, I want you to click on this and go to 100% full width. And the reason why we're doing that, in case you're wondering, I'll go ahead and show you why. So I'll go to paste. So right here is our current home page, but I, I kind of want to get rid of this gray part and I want to get rid of all this and I just want to have a blank sheet of paper sort of so we can just design the website. So right here, I want to do 100% full width. Now for sidebar right here, you guys can go ahead and leave that default. And then for margins, I want to disable that. And the margins are actually these little white padding right here, this little line. No, we don't really want that either. So over here, you can click on disable. Now also for the header, so for the header section right here, I wanna go ahead and disable this right here. And I actually wanna display the header. We can display the header. And then for the main navigation, I wanna click on this. And I wanna select the menu that we created. So basically I'm saying, I want our menu to show up on this front page right here. And then also for the title, I wanna go ahead and disable that. Because right here, I don't want this home right here. You know, we don't need it, it's, it's ugly, it's not necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, you know what, uh, you're retired, you know, you're gone, you're, you're fired, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that right there. 
And then uh, another thing is our footer section. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about footers and widgets and everything else later. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this uh, default because we're gonna come back to widgets a little bit later. I'll explain what those are in detail a little bit later. But right now, I want you to click on updates. Okay, and now we can actually go ahead and view the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page and it should look something like this right here. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna look ugly, you know, but don't worry because it's basically a, a scratch sheet of paper. So right here, I want you to click on edit with Elementor. All right, we're here. Congratulations, guys. We're, we're making progress. We're doing it, we're doing it. So uh, we have this section right here, which says add a new section. Now, I want you guys to little, like, kind of familiarize yourself with these. So this is like a, a text widget, a button, a video, a divider, an icon like Google Maps, image box. All these are just basically little modules. And you basically just drag all these to anywhere you want. And it basically just puts it there. So that's basically how this page builder works. So everything is totally uh, drag and drop right here. So right here, I'm going to click on add a new section. And I want to just select one right here. So you see our section right here. Now, before we do anything, I wanna click on this right here. Now you see on the left side right here, we have this layout. So basically I wanna say, look, I wanna go ahead and stretch this section. I want it 100%, so I want it to cover all the page. And also for the content width, I wanna make it full width. And for the height, I want it to fit to the screen. So now you guys can see that we have that landing page like this. We can have that big landing page. So we can have that like, uh, you know, a, the image in the background and we can kind of decorate a little bit. Now there is a link in the description of this video and it will give you access to some images. Now the image I use for this same exact tutorial, uh, I cannot give you this same exact image because it's actually owned by a company. So I can't redistribute it, but I've actually put a lot of replacements in that folder. So uh, don't worry. And also if you guys need to go uh, get really cool images, I recommend going to unsplash.com. These guys have some amazing images. So a really famous one is like night sky or you can put in like space. And these are all like HD, beautiful images. It's kind of like Instagram, but for like super professional photographers, you know, it's not for the average person. Like people just don't upload pictures that are not good. They only take really, really, um, you know, really nice pictures. So uh, I actually have some in my folder in the, uh, the link in the description. So I think I use like a few other ones. Okay, so right here, I'm click on this, or I'm gonna go back over here. Now under the style, we have background type. So this is for just like an image. This right here is for the gradient effect, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And this is for the video. So depending on which one you want, um, you can use either of those, but I want to get very basic and just go to classic. And let's say you want a different color. So you can have like a different color, you know, right here. And remember this part right here is where your text is gonna go, but I'll do that in a little bit. But uh, you know, I don't want color. You know, I don't want it, I don't want it. I, I just want, I want a picture. Pictures are always easy. Everybody loves pictures. So right here in our media library, I'm gonna click on select files and you're going to upload the file. So I think mine was on my desktop and it was for Elementor. And I can use something like this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here and go to insert media. All right, now it does look a little skewed. It looks kind of crazy. You're like, whoa, this does not look that good. So right here under our, our position, leave that as default. For the attachments, I'll go ahead and leave that as default. But the main one that you really wanna look after is size and I want to put cover. So now you guys can see that the image is right there and it looks much better than that little tiny <laughs> space that we had before, right? So, uh, and there's also a lot of other cool features you can have like a background overlay. So if you wanna add like an overlay to this, you can go ahead and uh, add an overlay. But for right now, I'm not gonna get too far in these settings because we're gonna talk about all of these settings a little bit later. I just want to get you all familiar with the page builder and make sure that you understand it. So you see these little uh, these circle, these squares up here? I want you to click on that and this will bring the option of these right here. So it gives you all the little, um, you know, the gadgets and everything else. So right here under text editor, I'm gonna take that and just drag it right here. Now I put welcome to the revolution, but you guys can put whatever you want. You know, by now you guys can, you know, it's your website, you know? So I'm gonna put something like uh, welcome to, or you know, I'm gonna do this, let's see. Welcome to the revolution. And you know guys, for, for, for future reference, I don't know why, but in web design, everyone capitalizes the first letter of every word. It's just the way it kind of goes. It just looks really clean. And most people out there just tend to do that. So I put welcome to the revolution. And for style, I wanna go ahead and center this. 
Now you guys can't really see it too well, so I wanna change the color. So right here in our text color, I'm gonna put white. Now topography, so this is actually where you can change the font, you can change everything about this. So the size, you guys can make it go bigger or you can make it go smaller. So right here, I'm gonna leave it at around 35, what do you guys think, 32, 32 is good. Now for the family, I put a tally on it, but guys, this page builder has unlimited fonts. And the great part about this is that with other themes and other page builders, you have to install like the, um, the easy Google fonts and you have to enter code. It's a total pain. It's a total pain in the butt, but uh, this is actually much easier. So I did Italiana. All right. Now it doesn't come out too well. So maybe you would want to change yours or, you know, but actually the weight would actually make a big difference. So right here, the weight is kind of like the boldness. So I'm going to go ahead and put 300. Okay, that didn't do much. So maybe let's increase it to 600. Now you can see it's coming out a little bit more clear. And I can even go more. I can go 700. And then I can go 800. Or I can just say I want it bold. But I'll just leave it at 800 right here. Now for the transformation, we can have it all in uppercase. So I prefer to have it in uppercase because uh, I think it looks better. But so you can actually do lowercase or you know capitalize or whatever you want to do it. Now capitalize is actually what I recommend because that's just what people in web design do. I know in the grammar world, it's not correct, but uh, that's just what people do here. So uh, yeah, so anyways, so for the style as well, you can change it to normal, italicized, or oblique. So if you want it italic, change it to italic, or you can go ahead and just leave it as normal. Now for the, line, uh, the letter spacing, I know some companies do this, like I think L'Oreal, that shampoo company, where if you space it out, you see how the letters kind of space out like that? You can do that, or you can make it really, really, really small, but that's, that's ridiculous. Nobody would do that. But maybe something like that. And then right here, you can change the line height. Now, I'll explain what the line height is a little bit better. This It's kind of hard to give you an example of a good line height. But basically, it's just the, the line. It's like the space of it. But it's, uh, after I add some other text in, you'll understand what I'm talking about a little bit more. So I'm just going like to leave it at one for now. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and add in the next section. So right here. Uh, actually, no, it's the other website, uh, Daryl Wilson Tutorial. Let me go to that one just to show you guys. Also, if you guys need help or you guys need resources, go to my website, DarylWilson.com. You guys can get a lot of um, free resources. I have a lot of like giveaways. I have all sorts of cool stuff. Now, I want you guys to kind of understand what I've done. So right here, we have a text. I have a header. I added an underline and then two buttons. That's it. That's all I did. So going back over here, you know, I'm going to delete this one. You're fired. That one's gone. That one's gone. All right, so clicking on these little icons right here. So right here, I'm going to go to heading and I'm going to put this right. You see where that little line is right there? I'm going to go ahead and drop it right there. Now it shows up right here. So right here, I put Elementor because that's the page builder that we're using. Elementor. I'm going to go ahead and center that. All right. Now for the style, we have text color and topography. So right here, I'm going to click on this white and then topography. Um, I think I used, it was like the monster it something like that or I wasn't really sure which one I used so right here under the the family right here I think it was like the Mont I think I use this one right here no you know I use open sans open sans the it's like my it's like the most preferred one so open sans right here and then I want to change this to maybe like uh you know 300 make it a little bit more thinner because once I make it bigger it'll it'll look better now for the size right here I might change this to something like 105 or something like that okay now you see the line height right there. So basically the line height is basically saying, look, I want this much height in between the lines. So it's kind of like hogging the lines in a way. That's what the line height is doing. So going back over here, you don't have to follow me, but uh, right here on the line height, you can see how it kind of saying, look, I want this much space to myself. That's basically what the line height is. So uh, in a nutshell, that's basically what line height is. So right here, I put Elementor. Now for the style, I want to actually make these a little bit, I want to kind of space it out right here. You know, I want that big space right there. So 5.1 and for the transformation, I'll do something like uppercase and then for the style, I'll go ahead and leave that as default. Now guys, also one more thing, when you're designing your website, uh, you might want to close this right here because that's going to actually show you what it looks like. And then that's all kind of like, you know, it's almost the same thing. It's just uh, giving you an extra example of what it would look like. So the letter spacing, I think looks good. Now over here on my other website right here, you can see that I have this little uh, line right here. So this is basically a divider. So right here under these little gadgets right here, 
I'm going to go to divider and just simply take this and just drag it right below. Now, the whole purpose of a divider, guys, is to actually give space in between everything. That's really what it's for, but you can use it as decor, you know? So right here, I'm gonna click on center. I'm gonna change the color to white. And I want you guys to actually see it. So I'm gonna increase the weight. I'm gonna do it a lot right here. I'm gonna do it to like eight. Now, I'm only doing this just to show you what it is. So right here under width, I want you guys to see this. Like, see how it's kind of disappearing? You know, see that? But if I have it on the left, it's gonna disappear to the left. And then to the right, you can kind of disappear like that. But I actually want to keep it in the center. And I want to just have it maybe like something like uh, this right here. Okay. And then the weight, that's too much. You know, maybe something a little bit thinner. Three is good. Okay. Now, uh, you can actually do like dotted. You can do like all sorts of different little uh, decorations and everything. Now, for the advanced tab, guys, don't worry about all this. We're going to cover this a little bit later in the tutorial. Uh, I know there's a lot to cover with this page builder, but uh, baby steps. So also you guys can do like the weight, the gap. Now for the gap right here, this is basically the sole purpose of the divider. So basically the divider is saying, look, I want this much space in between everything. So by increasing or decreasing that, you can actually, um, you know, put that wherever you want it. So I'm just gonna do like two. And later on to the tutorial, we'll talk more about margins, which is basically like how you can actually push it against other, you know, places where you can, you know, like put it anywhere you want. So basically the margin is kind of like saying where you want it to start from. So if I put like minus 10, it's gonna be a little bit closer. But if I do like plus 10, it's gonna be like farther away. But uh, in this case right here, I'm just leave it at minus 10. But we'll talk more about margins and padding guys, don't worry. Uh, I don't wanna jump into any of the advanced options yet. So next we have this two button right here. So we have two buttons right here. Now let's go ahead and add those in. Now guys, I wanna be very straightforward with you guys. Design is everything, you know, I've seen a lot of other tutorials where they teach people how to make websites, but they don't look good. You know, guys, what good is a website if it doesn't look good? You need to make it amazing. And when someone comes to your page, they need to know what your website is about in two seconds or they're gonna leave. Because if someone comes to an ugly website, they don't understand it, they're gonna leave, right? Wouldn't you? So you wanna make sure your website gets to the point very fast, very clear, so they understand about you and your website. So right here under these little two things. Now I want you to go to columns and drag this. And we're gonna put this below this thing right here. So what columns are basically, it's, it's just more sections basically. It's just more sections. So that's really all it is. So I have two sections here. Now if you wanna add more, you click on this little thing and go to plus and it's gonna add three sections. But I wanna go ahead and just delete it. I only want two. I only want two buttons. And if you wanna delete this whole row, you can click on this little X right here and that will actually delete the entire row, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and take these columns and drag it out and put them right there. And then I'm gonna click on these buttons and go to button. You guys are probably already getting this, you know, right? I'm gonna put it right there. Now I'm gonna click this again. Actually, no, no, no. We can actually duplicate this row. But um, yeah, so right here, click on this and click on this little these little two things right here. So here it says duplicate column. Click on that. So now we have two. So now this one, we can just go ahead and delete it. All right, awesome. Now there are a lot of good reasons why you want to duplicate rows because sometimes you're making a lot of stuff and you just want to duplicate it. You know, you already have the font, like right here we did the font, we did everything. You know, you might not want to do that all over again on another uh, part of your website. So you can just go ahead and duplicate the rows. Now for this button right here, I want to go ahead and put it to the right. So you see here, it's right there. Now for the type right here, you can put it to like info, but this is just the color. So these are just like kind of like for beginners. If you don't really know what to put, they're basically saying danger is red. You know, success is, what is success? Green, oh, cause I guess money. You know, I guess whoever has the most money nowadays, that's that's <laughs> that's who the successful person is. So here I'm gonna put start. Now for the link. So the link is basically, if they click on this, where do you want them to go? Well, we'll do that a little bit later, but for example, you could put like www.darylwilson.com and if they click on this button right here, they're gonna go to my website, darylwilson.com. Well, actually you have to put, you have to put HTTPS. So HTTPS. And then that, okay. And then when they click on this, it'll take them to darylwilson.com, okay. So we'll just go ahead and leave that like that for now. And then for the icon, do you want an icon here? So if you want an icon, we can go ahead and put yes. You know, we can find some cool ones. Let's see what we got. We got the the apple. All right, we got apple. That's actually really cool. And you can actually do like the position, so you can have it before or after. And then you can do icon spacing as well. But that looks really ugly. I don't think any website does that. So we'll probably leave it at like five or something. Something standard. Now for style. So we have this hover right here. And guys, you're going to come across this hover in all of the 
options with these things where basically like if you hover over something, what do you want your visitors to see? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and use the hover option in this because all the modules actually have this. So if you go to like any of these other modules right here, they all have the hover feature. So even the background right here, if someone hovers over it, you can change the settings if someone hovers over it. It's really up to you. So right here under these, um, under the button right here, I'm gonna go and click on the button. Now under style right here, I'm gonna click on topography. So remember, we're just changing the actual button right now. But I actually just kind of left it standard. You know, you can give it like a different font, like uh, uh, let's do open sans. Okay, and then the weight, you can always change the weight to whatever you would like, or 500. And these options, guys, are also repetitive. So uh, in the course of this tutorial, I'm not going to go in depth on this again because we've kind of already covered all this. You know, we, we talked about this when we, you know, when we talked about the, the, the heading and all that other stuff. So uh, I'm not gonna like, once I cover one thing, I'm not gonna, you know, cover it all over again because that would just be repetitive and we're just wasting each other's time. You know, you're gonna be like, hey, Daryl already saw this, you know, this thumbs down, you know? So right here we have um, our normal and then we have a hover. So the hover option means if someone hovers over it, what do you want it to do? So basically you can decide if someone hovers over it, the actions will change. So right here we have text color. I'm gonna put white. It's already white. I'm gonna click here. And now we also have background color. So I like this color right here. So now you guys can see it's this color. But now we have the option of hover. See this right here? So right now it says text color is white, background color is this blue. But if I click on hover right here, we can change that. So now I'm gonna put black, and then I'm gonna put red. It's a really, let's see, where's the red at? There it is, red. Okay, so now if I hover over the start button, it's going to change like that. So it's gonna be from, you know, like that, and that's basically what the hover is. And also you can change the animation, which is really, really cool. So basically when someone visits the website for the very first time, it's going to get like a really cool little animation. So that's only for the hover over effect though. So you see how I'm over hover overing it right now? I can change it to like pull shrink. See that, how it's kind of making that animation or pop in, see that? But remember, this is only for the hover. So if you do this, you wanna make sure you're doing it for the correct setting. Now, I don't know which one you'd want, but right here, I'm gonna do normal. And then again, we can, you know, change the, um, you know, change the, the animation for it as well. So I'm um, just letting you guys know that when you guys do this, you need to actually set it for the hover option. You know, I th actually think the hover option is only for the, um, the button when you hover over it as well but it's actually in every module. So um, that's just, you know, basically if someone hovers over it, there you go, okay? So next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is like the width right here. So we have the solid and the, and the normal or whatever you wanna put. Now we can also do border radius and the higher you go, the rounder it gets. So right here, I'm gonna do like 30, you know, 50, you know, we can have it like that. And there you go, we have like a rounder button, okay? Now box shadow, everyone loves box shadow. So box shadow is basically like a shadow around the box. So right here we have this blur. Now if you see the button right here, you're gonna see this dark little kind of like, uh, we can actually change the color to help you see it a little bit better. But now you see how there's like that little green around it. There's a blue, there's like a purple. You see how it's kind of glowing? That's really what a box shadow is. So if you want a box shadow around your button, uh, feel free to do that. And of course you can change these settings. You know, you can have it horizontal. That would probably make no sense. But you can change the spread of it to something like this right here. So you see how it's kind of glowing? So that is basically what a, a box shadow is. And you can change the blur to something else that you want, okay? But I don't want a box shadow. Now I do like box shadows around other modules, but not on buttons. You know, I, I don't think it's good. And this is also like the text padding. So padding is basically space, but space, I, I don't wanna do it in this example because it's not gonna be clear enough. So um, right now I'm just gonna say, you know what? I'm done with this section, you know? So going up over here, now I'm gonna click on this button right here. Now, all I wanna do right here is, I'm just gonna go ahead and just change the style to black. So I want the background color as black. Something like that, and I'll put like a welcome. Or let's see right here. Yeah, we'll put uh, the button right here. We'll go ahead and put welcome. Okay, and then of course, we have our icon. You can change this to all these settings as you want. Okay, and then we'll talk a little bit about margin and padding a little bit later, how we can put this kind of, you know, we can put it anywhere we want basically, but I don't want to do that right now. So we'll talk more about that a little bit later, but uh, let's go ahead and shrink this right here. And there you go, we have our homepage, beautiful homepage. So I have welcome to the revolution, you see Elementor, we have this divider and we added two buttons. So congratulations guys, you know, that was actually 
pretty easy, right? This was, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's, it's just the effort of learning how to use it. So to those of you watching this, congratulations. Other people kind of just like watch it for a minute. Like, oh, I don't know, it's too hard. It's, it's not, it's very, very easy. So if you want to make changes to your website right here, click on save. Okay. And then right here, click on this X and go to view page. And there you go. We have our beautiful homepage right there. Super simple to make. And of course, guys, remember I put that link in there. So darylwilson.com. If I click on the start button, it's going to take me to my website, darylwilson.com. So this is my website, darylwilson.com. So again, you're just going to go ahead and put any link right there, but we're probably going to end up putting our other pages, like our contact page and our about us page. Cause usually when they come to our site, you want them to, you know, go to your contact us page. Okay. So now let's go ahead and keep making this website. So right here, click on edit with Elementor. And we're just gonna keep going down section by section, guys. And I want you to kind of understand what we're gonna do. So right here, I want you to look at this section. So basically this is a two column section with text, text, and text. So it's a column with three text modules in it. That's it. So right here, add a new section, put in these two right here. And right here, I have the text editor. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put something else in there like, um, I don't know what I, what I, what I put. I, I have the, the biggest problem with finding text. So a rest is mine. Yeah, rest is mine. Rest is mine. Now for this style right here, I just did style and I put it to the right. And then I put the color as white. Okay. Now I know you can't see it. And that's because we're going to change this background to black right here. So right here under this section, we can go to our style. And now for the background type, we can click on classic and we can change the color to black. And now we can see this. Now we can also do the gradient effect. So I'm actually going to show you what the gradient effect is right now. So the gradient effect right here, if I click on it, we can change this to different colors. So for example, right here, I have color and I can change this to something like green and then our secondary color, we can change the location. And guys, you can do this for every single module. So it's limitless on your creativity. So however create, creative you are, I am not the best web designer. I'm really not, you know, and other people are just like so much better than me. Uh, you know, it's, they have such creative websites and creative ideas. So uh, that's basically how you would do the gradient effect. So um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and leave it as classic right here. I'm just gonna do a solid black right now, okay? So I'm gonna click on this right here, which is the text module. I'm gonna go to style, change the topography to something like, you know, uh, I think I was doing open sans. So the open sans. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know, I want it just a little tad bigger. Maybe we can have it at, uh, let's see what we have it at. Have it at, uh, is that good? That's good, 20, 29, or let's do 20. 20, there you go. 25, let's just do 25. Or no, 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 20, 20, 20. Yeah, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, it's really annoying. So this right here is like the settings again, guys. So open sans, we can go ahead and leave that. Now I wanna go ahead and add another one. So I wanna go ahead and add in a heading right here, right below that. And I wanna change the alignments to right. So I want it right here. And right here, I'm gonna type in forward brands. Okay, then again, to style. Now also, you see where it says link. So if someone can actually come to your website and they can click on this, it will link them to wherever you want. And HTML tags, you know, guys, I'm not gonna get into HTML tags too much because this is regarding SEO, but this is basically for like, you know, SEO purposes. And I have a video on Freelancer if you guys are interested in SEO, but I'm not gonna get too much into HTML tags. They're really not as necessary because for beginners, you're pretty much never gonna understand what it is because it deals a lot with HTML. So it's not really important for us, but um, right here, I'm gonna click on style and go to text color and go to white. Usually like the titles of everything are H1 and then like the contents like H2, H3. It's just for SEO purposes, like, you know, like search engine optimization and stuff like that. So right here, I'm gonna change it to something like, um, I think I did open tens again. Okay, and then we can change like the size of it to like, a, let's do like 30, 30 is good. Now guys, also what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go ahead and just duplicate this whole row because we don't really need to do this twice. So right here, you can see on this right side, we have an empty box. We're just basically gonna duplicate everything and then just, you know, do it from, uh, just, just duplicate it because there's no reason for us to do it from scratch, you know? So there you go. Now I'm gonna click on this and go to text editor. And go ahead and put this to the right and then change this to white. 
And then also we're going to go ahead and put this as open sans. Okay. All right, cool. So we have one section right here. And let's go ahead and just duplicate this row and then just add it to this section right here. I don't feel like doing all that over again with the with the font and everything. It was too much work. So here I'm going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to drag this to this column right here and I'm going to go ahead and delete this one right here. Okay. Now the reason it looks like this is because remember the settings are still to the right side. So all we need to do is click on this little click on the text right here. Now I'm in the style editor, to go to style and then I want it on the left side. Okay? So right here, same thing. The alignment right here for the header is actually right here. And then this section right here, again, style, left side. And we don't want to change this, you know, we don't want the same text. We'll do like creative markets and then we'll do like um, WordPress is fun. No, oh, that's too much. We'll just do cool job. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So over here under this, I want to change this to style. And I want to change the color. I want to change something like this right here. So you see what I've done right here? So how I have these corresponding colors and it looks really cool. Now guys, some some tips for a lot of you when you're building websites and you're and you're learning how to do this, try to keep your colors consistent. You don't want like eight, nine colors on your website. It's gonna look tacky. Having two to three colors, you guys can see I have white, black, and this this see that's ugly, but that's okay. But I have like white, black, and this blue. It looks good, right? And it's consistent. So I want to keep these colors consistent because I like to teach people how to make really good websites, not ugly websites. Now guys, so right here is the section. So this section right here controls this whole area. You see this little, this tab right here. So over here under style, click on that and go to, I'm sorry, go to advanced. Now you see this right here where it says link values together. I want you to unclick that. So now we're going to the more advanced stuff. So the margin. Margin is basically saying, where do I want this to start from? Do I want to start from 10? Or do I want to start from negative 10? Negative 10 would be the opposite direction. So again, I'm gonna click on this again. That's really annoying. So right here, I'm gonna to go to negative 10. No, I'm sorry, negative 10. No, not 100, 10. So now you see how this is actually starting up a little bit higher than it's supposed to. And as a result, it's actually pushing up on the page. So right here, Again, I can go to, let's do, uh, what's the margin here? Let's do minus 50. Oops, sorry. You have to do the minus and then 50. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> too much. So now you guys can see how it's pushing up on the picture just like it is on my website. See how it's pushing up right here? So it's kind of like not where it's supposed to be, but it's kind of a design. So that's exactly how I achieved that design right there. So I just basically put in some, um, like, uh, some margin. So I also want to show you what padding is. So guys, padding is basically space. So how much space do you want right here? Well, let's say I want I want 10 pixels above. Then you get 10 pixels above. Let's say I want 50. So basically saying I want space right here. I want 50 pixels of space to the top. Now you can do this for the right. You can do this for the bottom and to the left. But the issue is we don't really have anything. We already have enough padding right here. We don't really need to add more. So I'm, I just want to go ahead and focus more on the margin. So right here I'm going to do minus 50. Oh, nope, nope, too much. There we go. Okay. Minus 50 and there you go. So now that's how I achieve that kind of clashing design. So right here, I'm gonna go to save. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going. So the next section. Now I want you guys to understand what I did here. So right here, I added basically just a, a, um, a section for text, for text, and then I added a divider. That's all I did. And then I made a three column row with icons. So I'm gonna show you what that is right now. So right here, I'm gonna click on this, click on a new section, click on this one right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the text right here. So right here under text editor. And I'm gonna do, we are amazing. But I wanna do lowercase. So we are amazing. And style, I wanna go ahead and put in center. And I want to change this to black. And then again, I'm going to do open sans. Oh, the wrong one. <laughs> open sans. And then, of course, we can change the size to something. You know, we can change it bigger or something or whatever we want. I'll just go ahead and put 20 or 22 is okay. And then the weight, I'll do like 300. Kind of like that look. You know, it's, it's simple, it's easy. I think that's what Apple uses. So remember how we talked about padding? 
this is actually where it's gonna come more into use. So you guys can see right here, this is too close to this right here. I don't want this, I don't want this too close, you know? So right here, I click on this, which is controlling this whole section, and go to advanced. Now for this section right here, I wanna click on this because if you click on link values together, it does it for all of them. And I don't really want that. See how it's doing for all of them? No, I don't want that. So click on this and say, look, I wanna give maybe, you know, 50 pixels. You know, 50 pixels or let's do 100. So you see how it's kind of pushing space because we don't want to have everything clustered. So just like right here, you guys can see that I added space right here. So I want enough space to introduce the new section. So without it being all clustered and you know noisy. So all I did was basically add in some space. Okay. Now I want to go ahead and add in another text right here. So click on this, the header, and then drag it right there. And again, put that in the center. And then I'm gonna put rebring something special. And I'm gonna center this right here. Now for the style, I'm gonna change this to black. And then, you know, I'll probably do open sans again. Open, there we go. Annie, use your telescope. What is that font? <sighs> okay, that's, I've never seen that one. Annie, use your, who names a font? Annie, use your telescope. <laughs> People are crazy. All right, so uh, 300 right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make this like maybe uppercase and make it a little bit bigger. All right, and the last thing I wanna do is go ahead and put in this next divider right here. So divider, drop it right there. And remember, this is just giving it look, you know? So I wanna go ahead and put it in the center and then reduce this. Okay, and then the gap, I just, I don't really care about the gap. I just want it, I want it close to that because I this, this looks good to introduce a new section, you know? So that's basically why I have this. So we have this section right here. So right here, you can see that we have this section and we have these three little buttons. So I wanna go ahead and add in a new section. So right here, I'm gonna click on add a new section, click on these three, and now you guys can see that we have these three little bubbles right here. So clicking on this. Now, we have different ones. There's, you know, there's image boxes, there's icon boxes, there's all sorts of stuff. Now guys, also, they have a pro version in this. So the pro version basically gives you access to more of those modules, but we'll talk more about that after this section right here. So basically on this website right here, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys. I'll just go ahead and show you some of these pro features just to give you guys an example of, uh, they offer a pro version. You know, there is a link in the description. You guys can purchase the pro version if you'd want. You don't have to, but you get a lot of more icons, you get a lot more widgets, and you also get a lot more of the pre-made layouts. So this company actually gives you a lot more layouts that uh, if you purchase their pro, and this site's going just a little bit slow, All right, it's working, it's loading. It's almost done. Okay, so right here you guys can see I have the uh, pro elements right here. So they basically give you like slides, like if you want those full of sliders, they give you pricing tables, a flip box, and uh, share buttons, a countdown. So for example, like a, um, like a flip box is basically like saying if you, you know, you hover over it, it flips over. So that's basically one of the pro features but um, we don't have to, I'm gonna talk about all the pro features a little bit later in this tutorial. So if you guys decide to purchase the pro version, uh, I think it's like $100 for the whole year and you get like support and everything. It's, it's pretty amazing. So the pro features, you, you, you get the pro features and you get the support. So it's kind of like a win-win. And uh, if you guys do purchase it, I do make a small commission. And you know, it helps me continue to make these tutorials for free because you know, these are long tutorials, you know, right? Like it's a long time, you know, but it's fine. So right here, I'm gonna click on icon. And I'm just gonna drag it right here. Now guys, that's kind of ugly, you know, but if you ever want just like a regular little icon with no text or anything else, uh, that's what you're gonna do. But I don't want that. You know, I want I want some text, I want some flavor to everything, you know? So um, just going down here, you have icon box and then image box. So the icon box is the one with the text. And the other one is the image box where basically you can put your own picture in instead. So let's say you're a really handsome looking guy or you're a beautiful girl you can like, kind of like introduce yourself, like this is, you know, Tiffany, and then you can talk about your position or something like that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use these icons for now. Okay, but I'm just kind of, a, you know, just giving you an example of that. So right here I have this as a heading. Now guys, I know that disappeared, but you can always just click on um, like the duplicate or add a new section, and it's just gonna go ahead and make it another one. And then of course you can drag and drop it, but uh, I'm gonna close this right here. 
Now you guys can also do like plus, you know, to add another section. But um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this again. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do that again. So I'm gonna close this. All right, and then of course, I'm just gonna click on the icon, or no, sorry, add a new section, and we'll click on these three. And then I'm just simply just gonna go to icon box, and then just, you know, you know, we can just go ahead and duplicate this too. You know, you don't have to do all that hard work all over again. That's another that's another shortcut way to do it like that. But um, remember, you know, you guys can have it any which way you want. So let's go ahead and talk about these settings. So right here we have the view. We can have like a stacked, or we can have frame. And then right here you can choose the icon type. So you know, however you want to, you know, because these are very self-explanatory. You know, so like if you want a square or circle, this is where you're gonna do it. They've made this so incredibly easy. So I'm gonna put welcome to Elementor. And then right here we have icon position. You can have it to the right to the left or into the center. And then of course, you can also have this link. So if someone clicks on this, where do you want them to go? Well, that's where you're gonna, you're gonna put the uh, the website right there. You can also have link options right here, like uh, add a no follow link or open a new window. Now that's actually a good idea. So basically if they click on this, it's going to open a new window in their browser and it's going to you know bring them to that website because you might not want them to leave your website. So opening a new window is actually very good. Now add a no follow link, Again, that's for SEO purposes. Your SEO guy might, you know, know more about that. But a no follow link, guys, in a nutshell, it's basically telling Google not to index those links. That's basically what it is. But I'm not going to go into SEO. So uh, yeah, so open new window if you want, and there you go. Okay. So right here we have style, and we have primary color, which is you can put your primary color, and then you also have the secondary color. So you can put something like blue, which is the background. Generally, you want to leave it clear. I mean, that's kind of like too much color. So I think uh, what oh, oh that's so ugly we got to change that we got to change that secondary color is white we can leave it like that okay and we can add spacing to this so remember you want to add spacing or you can add a size make it a little like that okay and then the padding as well if you want to add padding to that you can go ahead and, and reduce the padding or you can add more padding remember padding is space okay just want to let you know and of course you can rotate this to whoever you want the border width you can you know add more border width if you want, or you can add, it's basically just giving the, the border more width. So that's basically all you're doing right there. And then of course you can do like border radius as well. So that's basically in a nutshell. Now icon hover, remember, if someone hovers over this, what do you want it to do? So you can change it based off the hover animation. So if someone hovers over it with their mouse, you can basically do all those options all over again. So right here I have like a bounce in. So if someone hovers over it, you can see the animation. And then again right here, so and also for content, you can change like the spacing of the contents, you can change the color and the topography. So remember, the title is for this section right here, this blue section, and then the description is for this section right here. Now guys, I'm not gonna get too much into topography again, because again, remember, we, we talked about all this already, so I'm gonna change it to Open Sans right here and just kinda put it in there, and then um, do the weight like 300. And then I'll go ahead and change the, uh, this description right here, I'll make it black. Topography, I'll do open sans. So remember guys, once you have these options open, you might wanna click click on this and it kinda of like gets you out of the options. So just make sure that you're not stuck. So basically once you do all this, remember you don't need to do all this hard work all over again. You know, you can just go ahead and delete these or just, you know, duplicate this right here and then delete these right here. You know, it's, there's there's no reason for you to basically do everything all over again, right? Because hey, you know, you, you got this part and you know, that's basically it, right? So let's go ahead and go over here. Now we have these three images right here. Now in this section, I'm gonna show you how to incorporate these images. So if you guys downloaded my, um, my folder, you guys received some images, you guys can use those. So right here, I'm gonna click on add a new section. I'm gonna click on these three right here. And right here, I'm gonna take image and drag it right there. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because this is their stock image and I wanna go ahead and add in my own. So right here, I'm gonna click on Upload Files, Select Files, and then I'm gonna go ahead and find this one right here. Okay, and go to Insert Media. All right, cool, we got my book, DarylWilson.com. I'm just kidding, it's it's not, a, it's, I, don't, I don't write books, I, I don't, I don't. So right here, I'm gonna go to Image and just do it again. Okay, so Upload Files. And then right here, I'm just gonna put in this little cool little iPhone mock-up I did. And then again right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Remember these bring up the modules. And then I'm gonna go to uh, the image again. 
I'm gonna delete that, click on this, and then go to upload files, and then simply grab the last one right here, this one right here. Insert media, okay. So we have these three images, but we need to basically grid it. You know, it doesn't look good like that. I mean, it does look okay, but that's not the purpose. I want to show you how to have that grid style effect. So by clicking this right here, click on this little, um, remember this setting right here, these three little, these three little uh, things right here, that's editing this whole section right here. So if you want to basically have this little, you know, this, this effect right here, you're gonna have to go click on this and go to full width right here. Because remember, I want this full width section. And it's pretty simple. All you need to do is say, I don't want any gap. So under the column gap, you can have like narrow, you can have like a small one or something like that. But I wanna say, look, I don't wanna have any gap in between these. So now when I shrink this, you guys can see that it has that beautiful grid style effect right there. So that's how you achieve the grid style effect, you know? And right here, you guys can see, it looks the same exact way right here. So, and also kind of jumping ahead, looking at this, you guys can kind of understand that this is a two column row. So one column, two columns. This is a image with a text, a text, a underline, more text, and a button, okay? Now guys, one more thing. I want you guys to watch this whole entire tutorial because there's gonna be a lot of questions that I get. I get tons of questions and people are like, hey, how do you do this, how do you do this, how do you do this? And they don't watch the whole tutorial. And I'm like, brother, it's, it's in the tutorial. You just gotta watch it, okay? So let's go ahead and do the next section, which is the parallax section. So over here, I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go ahead and put in some text right here. So right here, I'm gonna go to uh, add a new section right here. And I'm just gonna select this one right here. Now I wanna go ahead and select a heading. So I'm gonna put something like no experience needed. And I'm also going to introduce you to something called the shape divider, which is a really, really cool feature. Just like I talked about in the blog section where you can have these different arcs and everything, uh, we can do this to any section that we want. So right here, I'm gonna click on this right here to center. And under style, I'm gonna change this to something like white. Now you can't see it because we don't have a background. So right here to give it a background, simply click on this little blue section and under the content width, I wanna say this is either full width. Now we can also do a stretch section. So let's go ahead and do stretch section instead. And then also for style, I'm gonna click on this right here and add in an image. Now again, guys, you can add in a video, you can add in a grain effect. And I'm actually gonna show you how to add in the videos right now. So you guys can actually go to youtube.com right now. So go to youtube.com. And then you guys can look up something like uh, 4K scenery images. So 4K scenery images. So you guys see all these videos right here. So I did something like the, the 4K night sky. So 4K night sky. And all you need to do is simply just copy and paste these links right here. And these will actually give you the ability to have these on your background and it won't carry the audio. So I'm gonna click on copy and then go over here. I'm sorry, over here. Now for this section, I'm just gonna go and delete this really quick and just give you an example. So I'm gonna add in a video background and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the link right there. So there you can see the video starting to play. Now we need more space, but before I, I do that, I wanna finish this section off. So I'm gonna click on this right here and I'm gonna add in a divider. So right here, I'm gonna add in a divider and uh, I'm gonna put this centered. And again, just like we did before, I'm gonna go ahead and like, you know, uh, reduce the width right here. And then I'm gonna put the color to white. You know, give it a little bit more, a uh, little bit more, so two. And then, you know, we can reduce the gap. We don't want too much gap. Now for the no experience needed, I'm gonna kinda you know, edit this a little bit. I kinda wanna do open sans. Okay, another thing I'm gonna do on this section right here under the advanced is I'm gonna go ahead and add some padding to it. So maybe like, um, I don't know, we can do like 50 or something like that. We can do something like that or let's see here. I'll just go ahead and add in 50. So basically I'm just adding space right here. And I'm also gonna make this text a little bit bigger because it's kinda small for a heading text. So this is like no experience needed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in just some more text right here. So text editor, I'll go ahead and put it right below this. And of course you guys can go ahead and change the color for this and everything else. So I'm just gonna do this right here, maybe make it a little bit bigger and then do some open sans. Okay, so at this point you guys are kind of understanding how the page builder works. It, it's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's easy, right? <laughs> Told you guys it was gonna be really, really easy. So right here under the button, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down and I'm gonna center this. Now all I'm gonna do is simply change this to something like uh, you know text color white, but maybe you wanna add this to this color like this to kind of give it that look. And again, if you guys wanna add padding to this entire row, so basically right here I added padding 
with this title right here, just with this section. But maybe you wanna go ahead and add in padding to the entire row. So right here, I'm gonna go to advance and I'm just gonna go ahead and put zero. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to add padding to the entire row. So I'm gonna click on this section right here, which is controlling the entire row, go to advance and just simply type in this right here and you guys can see it's adding more. Now again, you guys can add even more than that. So you can add in 100 to give it something that looks like that right there, okay? Now also let's talk about the shape divider, which is really, really cool. So the shape divider will actually add in some graphics or animations and it'll actually work for video and for images. So that's actually really cool. So right here under shape divider, I'm gonna click on this and this section top is controlling the top. So right here we have like mountains. So you guys can see how it's kind of like, it's, it's giving the top these little animations and you guys can, you know, do clouds or you guys can do, you know, this or anything. That's actually pretty cool. You know, maybe we should add the clouds to the top and to the bottom, you know, that's kind of cool. Here you can change the height of it, you know, and then also we can flip it. We can invert it the opposite way. Um, you guys can change all these settings right here. Like these are also for like the text and the link and everything else. So. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into like link color. It's basically like the color of the link. But um, for the shape divider right here, let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and do the um, the bottom part as well. So the bottom right here, I wanna go ahead and give it the clouds as well. So now we have this really cool little effect right here. And you know, we can change the heights, we can flip it, we can invert it, we can do all sorts of really cool stuff. So that's what the shape divider is guys. And it's for every single section. So uh, scrolling up, like it wouldn't look good right here, but um, you know, probably wouldn't look good on any of these sections, but um, see if I can use it right here under the style, shape divider. Let's see if we can add it to the top right here. We'd have to change the color to black or something. It, would, it really wouldn't look good and there's really no place for it here. So it kind of wouldn't work out. So yeah, it has nowhere to go. So uh, I'll use it again in another example, but uh, this here is a good example of how you can use it. I think also I use it on my blog section and also right here I used it. So I just added a different shape divider. But uh, for this section, I just use clouds and that's a kind of cool combination. You know, the video with the clouds, it's it's unique, it's cool. So now uh, that's an example of the shape divider. And also if you don't want that, you can have the parallax effect. And remember to achieve the parallax effect, you simply need to go to classic, put in this image right here and put it as contained and fixed. So again, remember attachments fixed and then size, we wanna go ahead and put cover. Okay, so now we can have that same exact image or that, that effect. And guys, that's really beautiful. It's, it's a really amazing style. Like um, you could not do this with another free theme. <laughs> I promise you, I, I've been around WordPress for a long time. That's why I'm the top rate instructor on Udemy and also Skillshare. So, and you guys can also do like a gradient effect as well. But uh, you know, gradient effect, it's good and all, you know, but I personally like the video backgrounds or I like the the uh, the image now one thing i want to talk about is uh, video backgrounds generally will not work on ios devices i don't know why but just that's the way apple has it for now hopefully in the future they will have an update so uh, that's an example of um, videos and parallax effect etc okay hey guys so really quick i want to go ahead and introduce you all through some websites that offer free resources for your website now this is one it's called videvo.net and this will actually offer you free stock video footage and if you search on the website, like I just typed in Sky, you can go ahead and see all the videos they offer. And these are all free to download. And these will make really good video backgrounds. You can also use YouTube and you know go type in like 4K scenery backgrounds or 4K space or 4K clouds or whatever. And you can also use those as your video background as well. Now, another good resource is Unsplash. And again, these are professional pictures from like photographers. They're not some Instagram pictures. These are very high resolution, very professional, and they are great for websites. So be sure to check out Unsplash. For example, right here, I'm gonna type in something like uh, land, and they give you all sorts of different pictures. Like this right here would be a good background right here. That's really cool, okay? So be sure to check out Unsplash. Now, another really cool one is Freepik. Now, Freepik has a lot of cool mockups. They have a lot of cool icons. For example, I'm gonna type in mockup right here. It's gonna give you a list of all of these right here. Now, these are the free ones. These ones up here are like an advertisement, so they kind of trick you. <laughs> so uh, right here, you can see that there's all these like uh, different type of mockups. And you can kind of take one right here and download it. And you can actually go to fiverr.com, which is another website. And you can have them Photoshop your logo on it or something. You ever seen like those business cards or those things on the internet where 
you see like these like iPhones and it has like that company name. Uh, that's exactly what they do here. So you can go to Fiverr, have someone Photoshop it for just five bucks if you don't know how to do that. And then you can have your logo or whatever on a mock-up which will look really professional on your website. So I recommend doing that. Now lastly, I wanna go ahead and recommend PicMonkey. Now PicMonkey is the best alternative to Photoshop. It's really easy to edit stuff. So I'm gonna show you an example right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this picture right here. And this is a free service. You don't have to pay for it. Everything is free. So right here, I'm gonna go to this text section and I'm gonna go ahead and add a text. And then let's say you wanna just add a text right here. I'm just gonna put something like um, darylwilson.com. And that's it. And then all you need to do is go to exports and then you can go ahead and save it like that, okay? So it's a very good alternative to Photoshop. It's really easy. And they have a lot of other cool stuff, not just text. They have a lot of cool animations that you can add to pictures that make it look really professional. So be sure to check out pickmonkey.com, okay? So now let's go ahead and go back to the tutorial. So let's go ahead and do the next section right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, add a new section and click on these two right here. Now I, I did mention really quickly, I, I don't wanna go off topic, but I did mention the fact that <clears throat> you cannot use this on videos on mobile devices. Now a good way to counter that is to actually disable this section on mobile. So let's say for example, using this section on mobile, using like a, a video right here, and it kind of sucks because people cannot, uh, people cannot visit it on, on, you know, on their phone. I mean, they can't see the video. So you can actually just disable this whole background if you, if you choose to have that under the advanced settings. So under the advanced settings, under responsive, you can actually hide this on the tablet and the mobile device. So that means that uh, it wouldn't come out all weird for iPhone users because they, um, you know, they can't see video. You know, I don't know on tablet devices, but I know on certain iOS devices that a video does not play. So that's exactly what the visibility thing's for. So that's what it means by hide on tablet and also hide on mobile, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and keep going. So we're doing pretty good so far. You guys, you guys are feeling good, you know, get yourself a drink, get yourself a beer or whatever you guys do. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the next section, which is this section right here, the split screen effect. Now I actually have the images in my folder again. So again, uh, feel free to download those anytime. So right here, I'm gonna put this text editor right here and I'm just gonna put something like, we are amazing. Oops, you know, I kinda want it lowercase. So we are amazing. And under the style, I wanna center this and I want the text to be black. And of course we can go ahead and, you know, change like the, the style topography right here go to open sans, you know, et cetera. Now guys, if, if something ever, if, if something weird happens to your page builder, or like something doesn't work, just close it and restart it. Sometimes in the world of WordPress, sometimes really weird stuff happens and I don't know why, but it's just, it's just the way it goes, you know? And I, I wish, you know, everything, you know, in a perfect world that everything worked perfect, but sometimes there's just really strange errors. Just close stuff and just reopen it. So I, I grab the heading text right here and I'm gonna go ahead and center this right here. I'm gonna put rebring something special. Are you being something special? And right here, I'll go ahead and just, you know, put a black black color and change this to something like Open Sans. And then wait, I'll do something like 300, which is cool. And then I can go ahead and add in a little divider right here, give it some decor, you know, give it some design and everything. You know, I really like the shape dividers. I'm sorry, the um, well, shape divider I do like, but the dividers are also really cool because they just add a lot. You know, they really add a lot. Now, one thing I want to point out that if you guys want to actually push this a little bit higher, you can go to advanced and you can actually do minus 10 for the margin. So you're basically saying, I want this to start a little bit higher than it's supposed to. See how it's a little bit closer now? So that's something that you can do as well, okay? And the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna add in some more text and then we're gonna add in a button. So right here, I'm adding some more text. I'm just gonna go ahead and center this and then I'll go ahead and add a button. Now this button right here, I centered it right there. Um, I actually did like a, a transparent background. So for the background color, I just put like uh, like like transparent. And then for the text color, I just did black. So right there you can see it just says, click me right there. And for the border type, I did solid and I gave it a color. So that's how I achieved that other look right there. So uh, on this other page right here, you can see that I have this right here. So I just basically colored the border right there. So that's basically, you know, how I got it. And now for the width, I need to set a width because we don't have a width yet. So you can do something like, you know, five or something like that or, or one, you know, if you want like a really thin one. And then I achieved the circle by giving it a radius of like 50. 
So right here you can see that I have a transparent background and it looks pretty cool. And we got a box shadow to it if you want, you know, if you want to get all, you know, cool, you know, see how it has like that shadow. You guys can kind of mess around with that if you want. I'll go ahead and put a little bit, you know. It works sometimes, you know, it works sometimes. It looks pretty cool. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you guys, I need to actually give this whole section right here a background. So on this section right here, I don't really have a background. And on my other, on my other, um, on my other demo website, you can see right here that I have this background right here. So you guys can go ahead and go to the folder if you guys choose to use it or not. And you guys can actually go ahead and download it. But right here, I'm gonna click on this section right here and go to style and go to classic and just go ahead and add in an image. So upload. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in that background image right there. So I think the one I added was, was it this one right here? Let's see which one I added. I think it was this one. Let's go ahead and find out. Well, I'm actually gonna upload both, so it really, it, it really, <laughs> it won't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and upload the other file. So right here, upload files, choose the file, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, was it this one? I just forgot, I'm just gonna do both. Okay, so I uploaded the images right here, and of course you can click on them to see them right here. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this one right here. All right. Now this section right here, now guys, this section is a little bit more trickier and uh, I'm gonna explain why I do this the way I do this. So basically, for mobile, for mobile optimization to work properly, if you add the image like this, it could come out wrong. It could come out wrong, but to clarify, a good way to get past this is to actually just put in a, a regular little um, a module right here, don't have anything there, and then add in a background text. Now I know that sounds a little weird, but I've used this page builder and that's what makes it work for mobile devices. So basically I added a module here, but I'm not putting anything in the module. I just want the image behind it. So right here, I'm gonna go to background type, go to image and then simply select an image like that. And then right here, I'm gonna go to uh, contain, or cover. And there you go. So now I have my image right there. Now I can also add my other one right there. So I used the other one in this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and upload the other one I had. Let's see here. You guys can upload any images you want. Uh, also, I would I would recommend Unsplash. Let's do this one. Oh no, actually, I use the other one here. So we we'll use we can use both. We can use either or. So I'll upload that one, and then I'll upload these two right here because these two are also for the next part. I also included these in the tutorial as well, guys. So uh, just you know, just for you guys, if you guys need them, because I know it's kind of hard to you know get started and everything. So right here, I added that image right there. Now. I wanna actually stretch this whole section right here. So this section right here, I'm gonna click on edit section. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this section and make it full width. And I don't want any column gaps. So right here on column gaps, I'm gonna do no gap. So now you guys can see that this section actually is, it's, it's, it's pretty close together and it looks pretty good. Now, again, we can always go ahead and you know stretch this section even more by going to our advanced section. And now we can actually make padding, we can do margin, we can do all sorts of stuff. So right here, I'm gonna do something like, you know, 50 padding. Now that's only if you guys want like it, it condensed inside. You see that? Cause now I'm basically saying, I wanna add 50 padding right here, 50 padding right here, 50 padding right here, and 50 padding right here, okay? So that's just an example if you guys wanna do that. But um, for this section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the padding right here. And as a result, you guys can see, it will stretch the image out as well. Now you can do that for uh, either side, it'll work for both sides. So that's basically how I achieve that section like that. So again, this section does not look good like this, but if I add 75 padding, now you guys can see it looks a little bit better. And voila, we have the split screen effect right here. Now I, I, I did the same exact thing right here, except I just added more margin, you know, more padding right here. So that's basically how I achieved that. And I made the text bigger. So that's basically why it looks a little bit smaller here. So if I make this bigger, it'll look the same exact way, guys. So see, we bring something special. And you guys can see it's pushing the other picture down. So right here, topography, I'll go ahead and give it a little bit bigger. Oh, way too big. See, something like that. And then, of course, we can add more padding or more space. But you guys get the idea. So that's exactly how I achieved the split screen effect right there. And you guys can see there's no, there's no, like, um, there's no mod, like there's nothing right there because um, the, I didn't, I just want it for the background. I didn't want the module, but I'm just using it for the background. So now I'm going to show you the other way, which is the wrong way. Just just to clarify that 
uh, that this is the correct way to do it because I've used this page builder before and I ran into errors. So right here, I'm gonna go to, um, actually I'll just do this. I can actually just go ahead and duplicate this whole row. Oh no, I'll just, um, yeah, I'll duplicate it, why not? I don't know, wrong way, wrong way, whoops. Okay, I'll just go ahead and make a new section. So add a new section and I'll start from scratch because uh, I want to show you guys the alternative way which is basically the wrong way. So right here we go to text. And then of course I'm just gonna put something like uh, <clears throat> we are amazing and style. And then I'll just go ahead and leave that and then I'll go ahead and add in the header. Now you, you guys don't have to follow me if you guys choose not to, but I'm just showing you how to achieve the split screen effect. We bring creativity. And then I'll go ahead and put something like, uh, you know, we'll do black or something. Let's see, here we go. Style, we'll do black. We'll do open sans, and then we'll make it a little bit bigger. So you guys can see how fast I'm making this page. I mean, once you guys get the, the basics of it, so you guys can make pages like so fast. I mean, I, I can make a website in like seconds, you know? <laughs> And like, I, I mean, like no disrespect to web designers, but um, for small projects like this, WordPress is definitely recommended. But of course, you know, this is built off PHP. So we will always need web designers and web developers, you know. So right here, I'm gonna go to uh, text editor again, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down. And then, you know, style, I'm gonna center it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a button really quick. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a button. And this time I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the button as something like black, you know, something, something just simple style with something like text color or there you go. Okay, so we have this section right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the image. Now this is the alternative way, which I don't recommend. So image right here, and then you guys can go ahead and put in something like this. And then of course the section right here, I'm gonna do, we can do full width and remember no gap. Okay, so this is the alternative way. And then of course right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some padding. And another thing before we do that is I'm gonna add a background image to this right here. So right here, I click on this right here and go to style and I can add in a background image. Now you guys can also remember adding like a gradient. You guys can add it basically whatever you want. But right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in something like uh, this right here and then make this size cover. And there you go, we have some decor. You guys can always, you know, do like default. You guys can change the position of it too, to like, you know, have it any which way you want it to show. So I'll just leave it like that for now and go to save. Now right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, this monitor right here and click on tablet. So this is what it looks like for tablet users. So it looks pretty cool, but let's go ahead and scroll down right here. And you guys notice right here, the image is cut off. Now the reason why that is, is because basically it's taking only the size of the image. So if the image is not you know optimized correctly, it's gonna look like that. Now a good way to prevent this is by doing this way. So this way right here, is basically, you know, you can see how the image is being forced on the background. Now this little thing right here won't show on, on um, you know, on tablets, so don't worry about it. But uh, that way that I showed you the first time is the correct way because it better optimizes it and it forces the whole image as a background. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to a desktop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this module right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I, I don't want this right here. So this thing too, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, you know what, uh, you're retired. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a heading right here. I'm gonna put nothing in the back and I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a style and add in a, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, right here, under this section, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a background to it. So this section, style, classic, image. Now guys, this is only if you want the split screen effect to achieve properly, okay? So if you don't want the, screen, uh, the split screen effect, you don't have to do it, but that's just an alternative way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then let's go ahead and let's see how this looks on tablet. And you guys can see now it looks much better on tablet. And we'll get into mobile optimization a little bit later in this tutorial. And guys, that is very, very important because now Google ranks your website on mobile optimization more than your uh, desktop. So right here, you guys can see it does look a little funny. Now there are some settings that we can change but um, I probably would recommend, um, you know, even disabling certain sections, but we'll talk more about optimization a little bit later. So if you go back to your website right now, it's gonna look kind of funny because we have not optimized it yet for mobile. So it looks a little strange. So uh, don't worry about this too much because we're gonna talk all about mobile optimization a little bit later in this tutorial, okay? So let's go ahead and go ahead and keep going. So basically we, we achieved the split screen effect right here. 
And remember, if you want to widen it, we can do it the same way we did it to this section. But let's just go ahead and go add, add in this little section right here. So this little section right here. So 100 happy customers. And we have this cool little testimonial section right here. So right here, I'm going to go to add a new section. Click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in a header. So right here, I'm going to put this right here. Add this in the center. And I'm going to put something like 1,000 happy customers. And for the style, I'll go ahead and you know we can we can leave it as a we'll leave it as black for now. And then for the advanced section, I want to go ahead and add some padding to the top. So let's go ahead and add some 50. You know, let's give it some space right here. And then right here for the style, I'm gonna go ahead and put it my famous one, Open Sans. And then of course we'll put this you know like that. At this point, guys, you're probably you're probably getting really familiar with all these options because it's very easy, right? It's it's a very very easy page builder to learn and everything. So right here, I'm gonna put centered, and I'm gonna reduce the width, something like this. Now, the reason why this is so far apart, because this section right here, we put padding, remember? So we put too much padding on the bottom. So I'm gonna click on this right here, and say, I don't want any padding on the bottom. So now, as a result, it's much closer, okay? And then again, right here, we can go ahead and click on add a new section, and I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the carousel in. So that's a new module we haven't used yet, so right here we have the image carousel, we have also the image gallery, but I wanna go ahead and use the image carousel. So right here, I'm gonna put this in, and then go ahead and some, add some images. So, you know, I can add as many images as I want, let's see, so I can upload files, select files, and you guys, all the images are also um, in, the, um, in the folder, so uh, I don't have them here, but they're gonna be in the folder that you guys have, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use these for now. I already have those, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and do these ones right here. So I'm gonna add on all these ones. So I'm gonna have repetitive ones. So right here, I'm gonna go to create a new gallery. You can also give these captions, but uh, that's up to you. So you can put like a, our business or our home base, and then right here, I'm gonna go to insert gallery, and then as a result, you guys can see that the images will show. Now I recommend using PNG images. So PNG images guys have a transparent background. So as a result, they don't have this background because you don't really want that for like this section. See how these, they, they have no background so they blend in very easily. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you use these um, PNG images. So I'm giving you these for now, but again, remember that when you get your own, you want a transparent PNG background because that's the correct way to do it. These are just, you know, they're just dummy images. You know, I'm just using these just for, you know, just for <laughs> tutorial purposes. So right here, you can change like the image size. You can do like a different size of them. You can decide more to show. So if you want more of, the, more of these to show, you can go ahead and do that. You can also do like image stretch. So you can kind of like stretch it across and, you know, ho however you want to design it. This thing is so customizable. There are like, like millions of options you guys can do. You guys can do like medium, large, or something, you know, even bigger slides to show you can have it like as many as like I think they have like you can show as many as 10 or something like that they show a lot so uh right here uh, you can do like dots or you guys can do just regular things so right here you can see that on the bottom right here we have dots and then all also you can have arrows so on the sides right here now you have arrows and of course you can add a caption to the title you know got something else like uh, right here you can see I have the titles for the images you can add those in as well or you can put the caption which is basically remember our home base so you can add that as well and additional options as well. You know, you can go through these. These are pretty self-explanatory, like, you know, the speed of it. Basically, the auto speed 2000 is basically MS. So it's basically like 2000 MS, which is basically two seconds. So that's basically how it works. You want an infinite loop, you can have an animation speed, you can have it go right to left, etc. You guys can probably, you know, get that and understand it. And also for the style, you guys can do arrow size. So right here, you can actually change the color as well. So right here we have the uh, the the arrow. So right here, let's say, ah, oh, I want a black. You know, I want a black. There you go. And we can make it bigger. Something like that. Now that actually kind of works a little bit better. You know, this section actually looks a little bit better. Now a better way to do this would be to stretch the entire section. So right here, I click on this, and we can you know change it to something like um, let's see right here. We can make this stretch all the way, and then we can have like no gap or something or full width. But that's just, you know, that's just if you wanna get unique and crazy, you know, but uh, I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, I would if you're using transparent images, but uh, that's just an example 
of you know things you can do with this because it's very customizable you know this testimonial thing is really customizable and i just want to introduce you to it so uh, that's an example of the image carousel and ways you can show off testimonials you can show off all sorts of really really cool stuff so here i'm just going to do box or something like that you know and then let's go ahead and uh i don't like any caption that does not look good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now let's go ahead and do an important section, which is the footer section right here. So right here after this, we wanna go ahead and put in all this stuff right here. So these are basically widgets and I'm gonna talk about that right now. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and view the page and let's go ahead and look at our beautiful website so far. So our website is looking pretty good. Now, there are some things that we could improve on. So right here, we can probably add in some more padding. So right here, we can add in more space right here, maybe to the top and the bottom to get make it a little bit better. Uh, right here, we can probably add more padding in between. So you'd have to go to this one right here and add in padding. It's going down here. Everything else looks pretty good. Right here, remember how we can stretch it a little bit more. So I want you guys to sort of like visualize and look at your website to sort of understand design, guys, because it doesn't matter how amazingly cheap your products are. If someone comes to your website and it looks terrible, they're going to say, you know what? I don't care what this guy's selling. <laughs> I'm leaving, you know, and they're going to leave your website and you don't want that. You don't want to lose sales because of landing pages. And there are so many tutorials on the internet with landing pages and everything, but let's go ahead and talk about the footer section right here. So right here, I'm going to go to, well, first let's go to edit page and make sure that we have our uh, footer enabled. So right here, I'm going to go to footer and right here, enable footer widget area. Yes. And then display copyright area. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on enabled right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and view the page again. So now we enabled it. So now we went and enabled it. And right here, there's still nothing, but we're gonna go ahead and click on the theme customizer. And we're gonna go ahead and add in something to the bottom. So plugins also coordinate with widgets. Like I talked about earlier, plugins are basically apps for your website. So you can have like an Instagram app, you can have a Facebook app, you can have a, a Facebook like box, you can have a Twitter feed, you can have, there's there's limitless widgets out there and it's very hard to cover all those in a tutorial, but I just wanna expose you to basically how it works. So right here we have like a, our footer widgets and we have widgets right here. So right here we'll click on widgets. Now you see where it says footer one, footer two, footer three, footer four. So these correspond to Footer, footer one, footer two, footer three, and footer four. Now guys, I'll be honest, I had some issues with this the first time, but after like kind of like, you know, messing around and resetting stuff like that, it worked out fine. So right here, I'm gonna go to add a widget and let's do about me. Let's add an about me widget. So right here, I'll do something like, a, you know, about me. Let's see right here. We'll go ahead and uh, put in something like a John Doe. We can add in some social links to it too. And actually, you know what we can do? Let's see, that's fine actually. So right here, you guys can see that we have the, the picture right now. And you know, we have the, right here, you have like, you can upload your own image right here. So right now I'm not using an image, but I'll go ahead and upload an image right now. So upload files, choose the file, and I'll select an image. I'll select, uh, I'll select this guy right here. He's having a good time, you know, we'll select him. All right, so then I'll put something like Daryl Wilson. All right, and then right here for the social type, we'll leave that as blank. And then of course you guys can add in your own social, your own, your link. So basically like your fan page or whatever you're using, you can go ahead and put your link for your profile there and people can go ahead and, you know, target it and, you know, talk all about it. And also guys, don't worry about the colors and everything else. Uh, there's actually a separate section where we're going to change all that, okay? But I'm just exposing you to basically widgets and everything else. So going back over here, and also guys, if you have an issue with your theme or something's not working with your theme, feel free to contact OceanWP's website. The link is also in the description. They will also provide you with free support on wordpress.org. Pretty cool, right? All right, so right here, I'm gonna go to add a widget. Now I'm also gonna add in, let's see what I added in over here. I added in the social media icons. So there's also like a Facebook like box, there's Flickr, there's Instagram, there's all sorts of really cool stuff. So Instagram, now you'll need to go ahead and put in your username. So if you put in your username right here, these images will show up. And of course you guys can, you know, there's different styles of it. It's like there's all sorts of like different ways you can, you know, have it. So I'm actually using one from Adidas right now. So you guys can, you know, put your, your username or your hashtag right there and it, it'll, it'll come out fine. So right here you have Instagram, but you can put like follow us on Instagram instead. A little bit more official, you know? 
And then, you know, you guys can actually go through all of these settings. Like these are just like, you know, how you want to design it, um, like order by popularity, et cetera. So there's just a lot of ways you can get customizable and decide which ones you want on your website. So this is basically how you would basically um, intertwine your Instagram onto your website. Really, really cool. And everything's done automatically. So it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's simply amazing. So right here, I'm gonna go back. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in the, oh, we can do the, the follow us. We'll do the social media icons right here. So we'll, we'll mix it up. We'll put uh, this one right here. So add a widget. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find social media icons. They're here somewhere. Did I pass them? Do you guys see them? There they are. Social icons, duh. All right, so social icons right here. And you know, for the dimensions, I'll do something like 20 pixels. Font size, they give you like a recommended one, like 18, you know, et cetera. So right here, you're gonna go ahead and put in your social media icons, guys. But again, remember that I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, you're gonna put your your network in and everything else, okay? So uh, make sure not to um, put these because this is nothing. So these dimensions are actually pretty big. So you guys might have to like go through some of these and like check them out and you know put what dimensions you want. You can also have like different transitions, like you can have them like float in or you know however you want it to look. Um, you can do like a blank yourself. You can put the dimensions. You guys can go through these and it's, it's pretty self-explanatory on all these, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and say okay, you know you can also have like dark, or you can have like a let's see a colored. But we'll go ahead and change all these colors a little bit later. So this is just if you choose to have it like this, guys. So feel free to go through these options and check them out. And the last one I want to do is the custom menu. So let's just say a lot of people actually still use this. Now, I don't. I really don't. But a lot of people use custom menus because all your, your, your pages show up there. But I, I actually talked to clients and they were saying they actually go to the bottom of the page to find the page. And I says really you still use that stuff like you're crazy you know <laughs> like what, what are you what are you stupid you know like you're crazy but right here you just put like our pages so our pages and then again you guys can change the font and everything else but i don't want to go into font and everything you know that's that that can go on for days so there you go guys we created a successful uh, footer right here so i'm gonna go to save and publish and go to back so congratulations, guys. You know, we, we basically kind of finished the first page. Uh, the first page was pretty simple. Um, by now, you guys probably have around a 60 to 70% understanding of how this page builder works, but a very big area we need to cover is probably, you know, some of the pro features. We need to cover mobile optimization and other things. Now, right here, we can go ahead and change this bottom part right here. So footer bottom right here, you guys can also change this bottom section right here. So you can put like this site was made by copyright, whatever. And then you can put like a uh, made by Nick designed by Daryl Wilson designed by Daryl Wilson. And then of course you guys can change like the background color for it. So you guys can, you know, do all that stuff, but I'm not going to go through all these options because it's, it's just repetitive and you know, color text, you know, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can also do padding. So if you want to add padding to this, you can add that. And I hope you guys understand what that is. So for example, if I add in more right here, it's going to push this up. So remember, just like we did before, padding. Okay, hope you guys understand that. Congratulations. All right, and then also the footer widget area, this section right here. So we can go ahead and change this section. Now, I don't recommend doing page ID at all. Uh, I don't even know why they have that option, but basically this will be replaced by a page. I wouldn't use it, I, I'm against it. Now guys, remember when you're in the world of WordPress, Sometimes weird stuff happens and just, you know, things just, they give you options that don't really make sense, especially for Yoast, you know, that plugin gives you a lot of weird options, but, um, you know, they still have to offer them just because it's just how it goes. So right here, you can change the background color to something that you would like or your color scheme. And then also the text color right here, you can add something like white and then the links color, the border colors, everything else, etc. Okay. So that's basically how you guys would change like all the, the, the colors and animations, everything else. So for border colors, we can also do something like, you know, whites, etc. Okay. So that's basically how you guys would, you know, change this section. There's also the topography. So this section right here will actually, you know, change the, the font and everything else for different sections right here. So like for the footer menu, you guys can change like the font, the font size. Um, you know, there's, there's so much customization here. It's, it's crazy. That's why I use this theme because a lot of other themes don't have this. You have to install plugins. You have to you know, do like a coding PHP just to get it across.
but the topography section right here will control like the colors it'll control the font the size everything okay so make sure to check out the topography section for like the footer areas because that's basically how you're going to style your font and everything else okay so i'm going to click on save and publish and we'll click on x and we're going to go to the top and now let's go ahead and do the about us page Hey guys, so I'm actually going to introduce you all to a brand new feature that just came out called the text shadow. Now this is my current header right here. And you know, you can change like the font, you can change all this stuff, but Elementor released a new feature that gives you the ability to have a text shadow. So right here on the bottom right here, we see text shadow. I'm gonna click on yes. Now you guys are gonna see that it has this sort of, this shadow behind it and you can change the blur, you can change the color, you can change all sorts of really cool stuff to give it this illusion that um, you know, it's emphasizing the characters. Now there's tons of different ways you guys can use this. And I think the best way right here is to actually watch one of the new videos that Elementor has released. So this is the current example that they're using. And it's all about creativity guys. So you guys can use this as like your current landing page. And these guys are basically giving you ideas on different styles. So here they have this like kind of kind of cute little, uh, you know, headline. And then here we have this like sort of like, um, Kind of like a, I don't want, I don't know what to say. It's like a dramatic kind of thing, but uh, there's a lot of different ways you can use this blur to, you know, emphasize your main page and, you know, also emphasize quotes and just make it look more professional. And the great part about it, guys, is that it comes free with Elementor. So I recommend uh, using it. Again, it's a brand new feature update. So it is basically on most of the models right here. So be sure to check that feature out because, I mean, it just looks really clean. I mean, this is just a beautiful, uh, a text shadow right there, okay? So let's go ahead now and go back to the tutorial. All right, guys, so before we go on to the next page and the next section, I want you guys to take a break. You know, go ahead and take a break, and I wanna go ahead and show you all some of the pro features and what this page builder has as its full potential. Now, this right here is a slider right here. It's a full width slider. It has a lot of really cool options. Now, you guys are sort of familiar with a lot of the other uh, modules by now, so I'm gonna show you this module, and I'm gonna show you what it is, and guys, this is basically very similar to a lot of the other features that we've been using. So this right here is a slider right here. And I put like believe, you know, you could put anything. And there's all sorts of really cool features you can have, like the Ken's Burns effect. You can have a background overlay. So if you want a different overlay color, you can go ahead and just add it in right there. And it has a lot of different slider options. So here you can change the speed of it, the autoplay, the transition. You can have it fade in instead of having a slide. You can change the transition speed. You can actually decide where you want the text to come in on when it comes in. So right here, instead of having it come up, you can have it come down, you can have it zoom in. There is so many features and amazing things about the pro version. And also for the style right here, you can change all of the same thing. You can have it like vertical, horizontal, you can you can put it anywhere you want. So uh, I just wanna go ahead and point out that the pro feature will include this full width slider. And it's really, really cool. You know, you can see right there, it kind of zooms in. We have that Ken's burn effect right there. And it just looks really nice. So if this is something that you guys want, this is included in the pro version as well. And of course, right here, I have two sliders. So you can get creative, you know, you don't have to have it like as a full width one. You can even have like a four section right here and people can kind of like, you know, scroll in and see like, oh, you know, this, what's this, what's this? And you can be talking about different things. And also right here is a, another feature. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the, the pro features right here. So on the left side right here, you see the pro elements. Now this right here is a post widget. So basically, let's say you're making a menu or something, the pro, the, I'm sorry, the post widget right here is really helpful because you can like talk about menus right here. You can talk about like a, a steak dinner. You can give a description about the steak dinner or something else. And it's it saves you a ton of time instead of trying to find out how do I do this? You know, the pro elements are, are really amazing. And also it comes with a contact form. And I like this contact form guys because it integrates very well with the page builder. Now I will be talking about another contact form a little bit later but their contact form, I'll be honest, is a little bit better because you can decorate it, you can get very customizable, you can change everything. You can change the color, you can change the messages, you can change the position, you can change anything. And, and the same way we did it with those other uh, modules, you can do the same exact thing with this. So I, I recommend to getting it as well. And also a really cool feature that these guys have is these flip boxes. So if you guys like this feature right here, they have some flip boxes. And guys, I know this looks very basic, but you can get so customizable with this stuff. You can keep making like all sorts of different things and trial and error and working on your site to find out how you can incorporate these on your website. Now guys, I'll be very honest, you know, the pro elements, they always add a lot of more stuff, you know, 
when I did this tutorial, maybe around like six months ago, it's actually the highest rated uh, tutorial on Udemy. I got over 1,000 positive reviews, but I didn't even include the pro elements, you know, and I didn't, half these features weren't even available back then. So the page builder has gone such a long way. It's, these guys have really outshined and that's why I want to introduce the pro features because uh, when I did that other uh, tutorial on Udemy, uh, there were, none of these <laughs> were even here. And these guys consistently add stuff. You know, they always add a lot of new things. Like this right here is their pricing table. So if you guys wanna have a pricing table right here, you guys can do that because the pro feature will also integrate well with WooCommerce. So you guys can like have like a little like a, a gold membership, uh, silver membership and, and everything else. And I also have tutorials guys on memberships and WooCommerce and all sorts of other cool tutorials. So uh, be sure to check out my channel if you guys are ever interested down the road on memberships or anything else with like booking or something like that. Uh, I have so many tutorials on, on virtually everything. And right here we have a countdown timer. So right here, I took the countdown timer right here. And let's say you wanna have like a movie coming out or something and you wanna put it on your website. You know, this can be your whole landing page. You know, you can just say, you know, we're coming soon on this and so days. So right here you see we have the days, we have the hours, we have the minutes. And you guys can customize this to anything that you want. You know, right here we can change this to like uh, inline, or a block, we can take off days, we can take off hours, we can just have minutes or seconds, or you can just make your own custom label. You know, you can decide what you want here. So right here we just have minutes and seconds, but we can have something else like, you can put here like, um, I don't know, light years. <laughs> you know, maybe you're doing some Star Wars, you know, uh, a promotion or something like that. I don't know, you know, people out there do all sorts of weird things. So you can have it like, you know, you know talk about whatever you want. And another really cool one is the login feature. So if you have a forum, which I also have a tutorial for, uh, it's a free tutorial. So all my tutorials are free. I, I never charge for any of my tutorials. So this right here is like a login form. So people can go ahead and log in to your website and then they can like post on something or they can leave a comment on one of your, your, um, you know, your blog posts or something like that. This is where you can integrate the contact form. And of course, everything is fully customizable. So you can always customize it to your liking. And for those of you who are like, you know, CSS, you know, developers and stuff like that, you guys can, you know, enter your own CSS here. So maybe you want to go ahead and inline the center or you want to go ahead and give it a drop shadow or something like that. For you developers out there, you also have the ability to add custom CSS to this. So it's not just for complete beginners. It's also for people who are, you know, developers and want to go above and beyond and add some, you know, extra stuff or whatever you want to add. And this next section right here is, oh, it's nothing. But I also want to show you all the, um, I think I had the, uh, the the share buttons, which are really cool. So let's say you wanna go ahead and have people like share your stuff. You can simply just take this and maybe I'll just drag it right here. And now people can go ahead and share your website on LinkedIn. They can share it on Twitter. They can share it on Google and also Facebook. So the share icons are also a really, really cool feature. And again, I wanna also talk about the template. So right here we have this template, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this down. Now maybe you wanna actually duplicate your page somewhere or you wanna you know do something or you have all your pages right here. So if I click on the home page right here, guess what? The entire page is just gonna create right there again. Just like we created the first page, everything's there. So we don't need to do all that hard work again, you know? So that's why I recommend doing the uh, the home page template right here because it's it saves you a lot of time, right? I mean, that's up to you though. It's really up to you and your decision on it. But um, it's, it's just another pro feature that they have. I think it's really cool. Me personally though, I probably wouldn't use that. I would probably just go ahead and save save the uh, the page and export it. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later when we talk about the um, the pro features. And guys, look at the price here. So you also get all these templates and I'll talk more about templates a little bit later, but they include all these free templates for you. So they're basically, they're pre-designed websites and they do everything. At, and on one button click, they create everything. And guys, these guys are always adding new widgets like every week, dude. These guys add so much stuff to their their pro features because these guys are new to the community and they really wanna shine. So I recommend getting the pro feature. And guys, honestly, look at these prices right here. What is $49 for the entire year? Like, what is that worth to you? You know, when you're making a website, guys, you never wanna cut corners. You know, the, the website is a representation of you. It shows who you are. So I recommend getting the pro version. Of course, if you don't need to have those features, I wouldn't get them, you know? I'm just saying if you are, you know, looking to expand your website and you want a lot of these pro features, I mean, 50 bucks for the entire year, like you have to be crazy not to get it. Cause remember guys, you also get a year of support and updates. So if you ever have a problem with something or something's not working, you can just, you know, ask these guys and they'll help you out. Now I recommend 
probably, I mean, it depends, you know, if you guys are just looking for like one or two websites, I would get the business one. But for those people who want to start a career on this and you want to develop your skills, I recommend the unlimited because think about it, you get one year of unlimited updates, you know, and this is actually for the entire year, guys. So you can always like, you know, three months from now, you can email them and they'll help you out right away, you know. And honestly, guys, when you're working on websites, you don't want to cut corners and you don't want to get frustrated because I guarantee you, for the users of you watching this, you're going to run into problems and you're going to leave me comments and you're going to say, hey, Daryl, this isn't working. Well, I'm going to say, guys, you know, if you had their, you know, their pro support, these guys can help you in a matter of like, you know, a few hours. So I recommend getting it. Um, you not only get the support, you get all those pro features and you also get the templates. And remember, like these guys have coming soon stuff. These guys are always bringing in new pro widgets to sort of help you guys out and increase your design and your imagination. So I recommend getting the pro version. But again, uh, if you don't want it, you know, you can just stick to the basic features because they still work, you know, and for a free page builder, it's one of, it's probably the best free page builder I have ever seen. You know, I've been around WordPress for, you know, five, six years and the pro feature is simply nothing short of amazing, okay? So that's basically all I wanted to talk about as far as the pro features go. Uh, we will talk more about the templates because again, you do get pro templates with the um, the pro features as well. So wait, does that make sense? Pro templates with pro, I guess, I don't know what to call them. You, you get, you get uh, new ones, you know? So right here under the add template right here, uh, usually with the free version, you're only uh, limited to maybe like half of these, but with the pro version, you get access to all of them. And these are pre-designed websites, guys. So basically everything's already made. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an example of that right now. So let's go ahead and say, um, let's, let's do this. Let's go ahead and make a new page. I'll go ahead and close this. I'll make a new page and I'll show you guys a quick example of the templates. But again, I'm not going to go too far in depth because uh, I'm going to talk more about that a little bit later. But making a page, guys, is it's so fast. So right here, I'm just going to go to uh, plus page. So right now, I'm basically just going to create a page, right? And you're thinking, you know, it takes a long time to make a page, you know? So I'm just going to do demo pro and go to edit with Elementor. All right, and I'm just going to click on add a template right here. And then from here, you can just simply click on any of these and it's just gonna like, it's just gonna import the entire thing. And then your website's already done. So there you go, just like that. And then right here, just click on insert and then everything's done. So that's basically what a pro, what, what a template is. So it really benefits your website. Now, of course it looks like this because remember, I hope you know why, because we didn't actually set the page. Remember we have to, we have to take off the header and the, um, the other part. But uh, just for you know, tutorial purposes, we'll talk more about this later. And you just get a whole, you know, you get a whole website done for you in a matter of seconds, you know. So uh, I highly recommend it. It's really, really cool. And um, you know, if you're looking to make a website really, really fast, you know, I would, I, I would definitely look into the pro features and the templates are, you guys, they're amazing. You know, it's not about working harder. It's about working smarter, right? You wanna, you wanna make a website as, as fast as possible. And with the pro features, uh, you're given that access. So again, I'll go ahead and do it right here. You know, I'll go ahead and add it. Which one should we add? Let me show you one more. I think this one right here is a pro one. Or we'll do, let's see here, we'll do another one. Uh, landing page coupon, huh? Real estate, oh, for real estate agents, huh? Tourism, uh, we'll go ahead and add in, I don't know, we'll add in this one right here, this, this photography one. So there you go, you know? That's it, you know, you get this entire layout. Look at that, someone someone basically already made a website for you and like, you know, a landing page for you in seconds. So it's really amazing what the pro elements can do, okay? So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I do have links for the pro, um, the, the pro features in the description. If you guys do purchase it, I make a small commission. So I, I get like maybe like, I don't know, like 10% or something like that. But the, the, the pro features guys are truly amazing. And again, if you have problems with your website or something's not working, these guys will help you out, okay? So uh, we'll talk more about the pro layouts a little bit later and also like mobile optimization, and everything. But let's go ahead and go back to the tutorial and talk about, um, you know, let's, let's keep making the website. You know, you guys are already doing really, really good. And if you guys are here, congratulations, because a lot of people don't want to spend the hour or two hours to basically give them a whole new career, a whole new uh, a trade, right? But they'll spend five years in college and learn nothing, you know, like myself, you know? <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and go back to the tutorial. Okay guys, welcome back. So in this section, we're gonna do the About Us page. Now we're also gonna do other things, like we're going to uh, do the transparent menu. I'm also gonna show you where you can get a logo. So I'm also gonna go a little bit more on the menu section on how to edit that and get this transparency or however you want it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all this stuff right here, as well as these shape dividers and how I got these number counters right here. 
And again, going down right here, I'm gonna talk about how I made this grid image right here with Meet the Team, and of course, this testimonial section. So you guys are already, like, you guys are already probably, you know, familiar with the page builder, you guys are learning. So I'm going to actually go a little bit faster in this section because I want to sort of force your brain to understand like how we got these. Now by looking at these, you guys can understand text, header, underline, text, button. And now this is a two column row, okay? So let's go ahead now and go through this. Now, I hope you guys remember the settings. So if you guys don't remember the settings that you need, I'm gonna go to this page right here. Now again, for the main section, you're going to have a 100% full width. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, show you guys again. And you guys are gonna have to do this for every page that you create. So again, right here, content layouts, 100% full width. And then right here, we disable the margin. And then for the header section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again. We disabled it right here and we enabled it and we have our menu right here. So disable, default, and then menu. So right here, disable, default, and then menu one. And then right here, we have our title, which we're gonna go ahead and disable because we don't want that uh, other section right there, you know, on, you know, like right across your page. It doesn't look good, you know, it's not really needed. We don't, we can make our own. And then of course, that's about it. So once you're done with that, you can click on update or publish or whatever you're gonna do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to view page now. And you guys can see, basically it's a empty page now. So you can see all that stuff in the middle was gone, okay? So right here, I'm gonna click on edit with Elementor. And now we're gonna go ahead and design uh, this section right here. So this part right here. And then I'm gonna talk about the menu and the logo, and then uh, we'll move on to the blog section. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here and slap it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the middle. I'm gonna do about us. Now guys, remember, I'm gonna go a little bit faster here because I want you to understand how I did this. And I don't wanna have to, you know, uh, give you time to sort of like, oh, how do we do that? I kinda want to uh, push you a little bit to make sure that you kind of understand uh, how I got all this, okay? So right here, I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna stretch the menu. I'll make it full width. And right here, I can add a background to it. So right here under the edit section, I'm gonna go to style and I'm gonna go to background and go to classic. And I'm just gonna simply go ahead and put in an image right there. So I'll put in something like this. And then remember how we got that before? We did the style and we did the cover. Now you guys can also do the parallax effect by doing the fix section, which will make it a parallax if you want. But um, just for this section, I'm not gonna do that. And I wanna add padding. So right here, I'm gonna click on this module inside, click on this, and then I'm gonna go to the, uh, the advanced section and go to maybe like 50, 50, something like that, or however you want it, we can do like 100. However big you want your section right here. And then right here, of course, we wanna go ahead and change this uh, heading right here. It's, it's too small, you know, <laughs> it's way too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this white. And then right here, I'm gonna do something like uh, open sans. We've been doing open sans for a while. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put something like a size, a little bit bigger. And then, you know, a good idea is to space that out. You know, spacing out the header right there is always a good uh, strategy because it just looks clean. It looks really, really good. And then I'll do uppercase. So that's a pretty cool one right there. You know, that's a pretty good like about or like right there. It's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do add a new section. Now by looking at this guys, again, I want you to understand two column row, we added these bars, text, text, underline, text, button, okay? So let's go ahead and do that really quick. So right here, I'm gonna put in these two right here, and I'm gonna click on this. So we had text, and then what, over here we had header, and then we had another text, and then we had, no, I'm sorry, we had the underline. So right here we had the underline section. So we had the underline, and then we also had the button right here the button, so we put it right there. And of course, guys, it looks it looks very weird. I bet you're thinking like, how does this look like that? You know, it's, it's so much different. Guys, all it really is is just spacing and font and, and, font and color, you know, that's that's really all it is. You know, it, it just looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what, um, I wanna go ahead and give this space padding right here, or margin, you know, it's, it's, too, it's too close to the top. So I'll do something like, uh, I'll do something like 10 or, or, or 30, you know? And then right here we put something like, um, you know, we put like something like we are amazing or something. So right here, we we are amazing. And then right here put something like um, our services or whatever you want to put. And then I want to go ahead and style that. Maybe I'll change this to black. Okay. And then family we'll do open sans. And then weight we'll do 300. Okay. 
And then this section right here, I want to go ahead and reduce that gap. Something like this, you know, make it look, make it look stylish, you know, make it look creative. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger too. This is a little too small for me. Okay, and then right here you can put something like our services or something like that. And then right here, uh, you can go ahead and just say like, you know, I want to go ahead and add a black button right here. And also I'll talk more about like pre-made layouts and everything else a little bit later and templates, how you can basically get this to save and it'll be really easy. Now this row right here, I want to go ahead and click on this. Now I want to stretch this section and I want this full width and I don't want any gaps because we're going to add a picture right here, right? So I don't want to go ahead and add any gaps to that section. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in just a regular module, anything. I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of all this. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a background to this. So style, background, classic, image, and then voila. We'll go ahead and add in this one right here. And again, guys, remember, you need to put a uh, cover, okay? So now it's covered like that. And we can always make all this stuff bigger by doing the, um, you know, we can click on this right here. And we'll go ahead and say, you know what, we need some more... We need some more padding or something like that on the top or you know whatever. So right here, we can do something like that. But uh, I don't want to. I don't want to achieve that look. So we're probably going to end up using this module right here, and this one right here. We can do something like padding. So or we can do margin. I'm sorry. So we'll do margin. Do like a 100. And there you go. So now we have that section coming out a little bit better, right? So if you want to add more to it, you can go ahead and you know put more margin to it, or you can you know uh, customize it however you want. You can. Give this section more top, you know, for example, we'll do like 200. It'll make it even bigger. So, you know, it just depends on how you want it. We actually covered this before in the in the pre other section. Or I'm sorry, in the um, in the split screen effect. So I'm not going to go too much in this. There's different ways you can you can edit it and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. Okay. Now, of course, this doesn't look as good as this because this text is a little bit bigger. And I think right here we actually align this stuff to the center right here. So this section right here, you know, we could actually align everything in the center and make it look a little bit more like the, the demo right there. Or you can actually even put it to the right side. You know, maybe even to the right side it would probably look a little bit better. But it really depends on how you wanna build your website. You know, you can have actually everything on this side, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that for now, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section, which is this section right here. Now this section right here, guys, is basically the same exact thing. It's the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this whole row. You know, I don't want to do all that hard work again. You know, why should we? Because you know, we don't need to do all that all over again. And I'll introduce the bar counters as well. So this section right here, click on this. Oh no, we can actually click on this right here and just duplicate this whole row. Okay. And then of course we can go ahead and uh, we can go, you know we can go ahead and you know take this section and maybe swap everything around. So let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and swap it over here. And there you go. Okay. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and say. You know, I want a module here. You know, I want to go ahead and click on this, delete this, and I also want to go ahead and delete the background. Now, I deleted that on accident, so to get that back, all you need to do right here is just, you know, duplicate a column, and then there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, trash all this now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and simply put the bar counter module in right there. So there's a lot of different ways you guys can, you know, like I made the mistake of there of doing that, but, um, you know, it's, any which way it works, you know, you can you can delete everything or you can just, you know, put it out a new row. There, there's so many different ways. So I'm gonna look for the bar counters right here. We have the progress bar. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I don't wanna have to keep dragging that in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate it like that. Maybe something like this right here. Okay, and just like the other modules, so right here we have my skill. You can put something like our, or, or like SEO and then give it a percent. And then, you know, do like our success rates. And then for the style, or we can change the type right here. Now the type is just like a pre-made color, so it's not really necessary, but if you choose to have it, you can, you know, do that. Now for the style again, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know, I want this black, the background color, I want it, uh, you know, that, bl that blue that we have going on. The inline text, I'll leave it as white. And the title, which is this section right here, we can change that to something like black. And then, you know, you can change it to open sans as well. Now, a good idea if you guys are doing that is instead of actually, you know, making all these like from scratch again, you can just go ahead and maybe delete these and then just go ahead and just duplicate the one that you've already done, you know, instead of actually having to do all the hard work again. So I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate these ones right here. And then from here, you can just go ahead and, you know, you know, you've already got the font and the color and everything. So just change the title, you know, to whatever you guys would want. So that is basically this section right here. Now let's go ahead and go to the next section. 
Oh, also the number counters. So let's go ahead and add in some number counters as well. So right here, I want to add in some number counters. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click on this right here and bring in the column section right here and just drag it right below that. And right here, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go ahead and find the number counters. The number counters, where are you guys? We have the testimonials, accordion tabs. So guys, there's a lot of other modules, you know, so uh, feel free once you guys get a little, little bit more, you know, comfortable with the page to sort of go through all of those. But uh, the counters are right here. And again, so right here we have starting number. So you guys can like make it start at a certain number. You know, you can make it start at, like a number like, you know, 50 and then make it go to number 100 if you'd like. You have a number of prefix, um, also the number of suffix as well. And you guys can do also the time. So if you do 4,000 MS, that's basically uh, four seconds. Okay, so remember, uh, it's an MS time. So you want to basically put it for MS time, okay? And you can do like the thousand separator, which is like the um, the comma for a thousand. But right here, I'll do like cups of coffee. And then for the style, I'll do something like uh, black. And of course, we can change this to something like open sans. And then again, we can go ahead and just duplicate this row instead of uh, making like, you know, five or six, five or six, uh, you know, rows. We'll just, you know, there you go. Bam, done. And then of course you guys can, you know, uh, change anything else. And of course you guys can see it looks pretty good. So uh, also you might want to add like a different shade to this background, you know, uh, adding the shade will really help. So uh, right here under the styles, we have the gradient effect. So right here I can click on like a color, maybe add like a color to this. I think I did like a white and I basically added it a dark blue. So let me show you, I'm sorry, a light blue. So let me show you how I did that. So I kind of like made it like go from white, just kind of fade in from there. And all I did was basically just, you know, reduce the location and the angle right here. So let's see right here. You can also reduce the angle. So let me do 150. So let's see how I can get this right here. I should probably do, I switch these around. I should do from light blue to white. Okay. And then from there, we can do like our location. We can do like an angle. Let's see how I can make this work. There we go. There you go. So now you guys can see that I basically made the page kind of, it kind of like uh, soaks into the blue. You see that? And you know, you can always increase the location to make it go up or down. So that's how I basically achieved that effect of this uh, color right here, kind of like, you know, right here, like kind of like fading in and then fading out, okay? So it, it's just, you know, kind of like messing around with it, it's messing around with the settings. You guys will get it, you know, I'm sure you guys will get all that stuff. I'm sure you guys are pretty, pretty affluent with it. So right here, I'm gonna go to add a new section. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go ahead and add in a header text. So right here, I'll put in something like, um, no experience needed. I'll center this right here and I'm gonna go ahead and add some padding to this. Oops. So under the advanced section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some padding. So maybe like, uh, uh, we can add in like, well, we can add some margin actually. I think the margin's better. We'll add in like 100. And then of course, we'll just go ahead and add a background to this. So uh, clicking on this section right here, the blue section, I'm gonna stretch this section, go to full width, style. And remember guys, you can have video backgrounds, you can have gradients, you can have the classic, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add an image right here and just insert the parallax effect. So again, remember to get the whole picture up there, we're gonna have to go to um, our, uh, our size and go to cover. And then again, if you want the parallax effect, you can go to fixed and voila, we have that beautiful parallax effect right there on our website. All right, so here I'm gonna change this to something like, uh, we'll do white, you know, we'll do white, white's good. And then we'll increase the size. We, what do we got, open sans? Is that what we're doing, open sans? You know, I, I recommend guys open sans or Roboto or Lado, those are all really good ones. No experience necessary. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert a divider right here. It's a little too far. You know why it's doing that? Is because we added too much margin on the bottom, okay? So right here, we'll go to advanced, take this out, and go to zero. So I don't want any space. If you guys don't notice on all my tutorials, guys, I am never scripted. <laughs> you know, I, I am not like one of those guys who like rehearse and everything. I just know how it works, and I just basically just show it from scratch. You know, I, I know what to do. So I'm, I'm, not on a, I'm not on a, you know, I would never do that. I, I'm never like on a script or anything like that. Those people are crazy. So right there, you guys can see we have this section that appears right there. Looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add in a counter right here. So I'll go over ahead and click on this. So we have four counters. So you guys know how to do that? 
we're going to go ahead and grab these column widgets right here and just drag them underneath. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this row like that to have four. Okay. And then I'm just going to simply click on this and drag in these number counters like that. Okay. Or I can duplicate this row, but I'm just going to go ahead and just drag them. Yeah, I want to drag them. You know, I want to, I want to change it up. I'm tired of doing everything the same way, you know? So number counters. Okay. Number counters. Okay. And how did I get that effect right there? How did I get this effect? Do you, any of you know how I got this? I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, ruin it for you, but that's the shape divider. Okay. So basically the shape divider for this section, I basically just added it to the top and the bottom. Okay. And remember for the shape divider, you're going to have to make it control this blue section right here. So shape divider right here, the top section, you can add whatever you want. Okay. So, you know, you can do something like clouds and of course you can change the color of it. But, you know, guys, keep it consistent. You know, don't get tacky. You know, uh, you always want like maybe three colors max on your website. You don't want any more colors than that because if it gets more than that, it just looks ugly and people are like, uh, you know, this website looks kind of tacky and it doesn't look good. So now the bottom section, I'm going to add clouds again. And that looks pretty cool, you know, except for this section right here. But um, you guys don't know how to fix that by now. Um, you should. But uh, you can increase the padding right here or on this module or on this module. It really doesn't matter which module you add padding on. But uh, right here, I'm going to click on this, go to advanced. And we can add padding to the bottom, which is more space. But I'm going to let you guys do that. You know, I think you guys know how to add padding now and add more space and, and you can push it and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. Now for the cool number, again, guys, you probably want something like a, uh, like a white font. You know, it looked a look, little bit better. So the topography, again, you can change. So this is for the number and also for the title. You can go ahead and change it to whatever else you want. So white, probably black right here because I have to probably push this stuff down. So uh, I can go ahead and add some margin right here to the bottom section right here. So something like that to give it a little bit more space or I can add or I can add padding. So right here, I'll click on this. No, actually, this will work just like that. You can do it like that. Or you can add padding to the bottom instead. You know, it's, it's really depends on if you want margin or padding. They virtually almost work the same, but they kind of don't. They're very different, but they do kind of work the same in some aspects. Okay. So that's basically this section right here. So going back over here, we have these three right here. And these are basically the blurbs. So right here, I'm going to go to add a new section, insert three rows. All right. So we have one, two, and three. Now I actually inserted the icon box. Okay, so again, icon box right here and the icon box. Alrighty, so I can cl click on one right here and, you know, you can do stacked or frame. And then, of course, you can do like circle or square. You can, you know, you can change the icon right here. So I'm going to put something like that. Now, also for the icon position, uh, it looks better like that. That's also how I did it. And you guys can actually get, guys, you can get as customizable as you can possibly think of, you know. So, for example, right here. Um, let's say, for example, I don't want to use this one. I'll give you a better example. I'm going to go ahead and remove this column. And, um, you know, actually, I'll go ahead and just duplicate this right here. And let's see what else I can do here. Now, I'll go ahead and put in this image one right here. This is, a, this is a trick right here. So the image box. I'll just go ahead and put in like an image box. And I'll delete this one right here. Now, I know it looks like it looks kind of like you really can't do much with it. But you can actually turn this into some sort of profile. So right here, I'm going to click on Delete put this guy right here and you're probably thinking, Oh, it doesn't look good. But what if you do this and you have a bigger picture right here, you know, cause we can actually increase the image size right there. And now it kind of looks like a profile, right? It looks like a, a person's profile. So, um, just kind of using your creativity right here. Like for example, we can put something like, um, I'll do something like, uh, let's see here, Daryl Wilson. And then I'll do like, I don't know, CEO or, or whatever, or whatever people put in these days, you know? And then uh, this guy helps people, people with WordPress tutorials. And then you can talk about your company and our company, you know, is going to fail or whatever or succeed because we are amazing. So it's, it's basically just kind of using these in any sort of way to get the results you want. There is no right or wrong way to use these modules. So I want you to kind of understand that, you know, just because it says it's an image model doesn't mean you have to have it. Like this is a profile right here, you know, and for, you know, other ones we use, we use them, not the purpose they're used for, but 
it's all about creativity. So any which way you can possibly imagine to use these, use them, you know, and right here I added a profile. Maybe I can add two right here and add like a split screen effect to it, you know, uh, like a split screen profile, maybe you and your partner, you know, it's all about creativity and just using your imagination to get the results you want because there is no right or wrong way to make a website, guys. There really is not. And then of course, right here, you can put something like your LinkedIn profile, you know, like even you can say like, click on this to go to my LinkedIn or something like that, you know, whatever you can possibly uh, think about. And also we have meet the team right here and I have these four pictures. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and goes to add a new section, click on this. And I'm gonna go right here to header. I'll put something like meet the team. I'll put a center style. Go ahead and put uh, open sans right here to decorate this. And then one we'll black and then maybe, oops. And then maybe right here, we'll do something like a, a weight of 300 and we'll increase the size. And I want some padding between this. I don't want, I don't want it too close, you know? So we'll do something like that right there. And then actually for the bottom, we'll put zero because I hope you know why we're gonna add a line right here. And if we have padding right here, it's gonna push the line away. So right here, I'm gonna click on this, go to divider and drag it under, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and center that, reduce the width, increase the weight, and then I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the gap. And change this color to black. Looks much better with black, right? All right, so we have meet the team section right here. Now, I wanna add those four pictures. So I'm gonna click on this right here and add in, oh, I can click on this add new section right here and click on four pictures, okay? Now, this section right here, you're simply just going to drag images right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the images of this guy. And also guys, in the folder, I have different pictures for you. So I'm just gonna use this one, but feel free to use your company or, or whoever you want, or you know your, your, your brother or your sister, or whoever you wanna do. So right here, I'm gonna put that. And then again, I'm gonna put this and add that. And you know, I can also go ahead and just duplicate this instead of wasting all that time. So that's just another way you guys can use the duplicate row. Okay. Now for this section right here, I'm gonna click on this row right here. And again, I'm gonna do full width because I'm basically saying, I want this row to be full width right here. You know, so by clicking on this right here, by clicking stretch a section and full width. And remember, I don't want any gaps. So I have no gaps. And as a result, we have that grid effect right there. So you can have your team there. You can have all sorts of really cool stuff. And you guys can kind of mess around with this, you know, like, well, I wouldn't do fit the screen or, you know, min height, you know, the min height, maybe you can kind of increase the size of it, but that's if you choose to, or you can do like, you know, if you want like a full screen one, you know, you can do like fit the screen, but I wouldn't do that. I would just leave it as default. And, um, you know, that's basically, that's pretty self-explanatory, you know? Um, if you guys want a caption right here, you can put like a, you know, we put Daryl Wilson right here, Daryl Wilson. And then right here, you can put like uh, your other partner or something else. And you guys can always change the, um, like the, uh, the font and everything. Or what you can do is just go ahead and say, you know what, we can just go ahead and add in a text editor right below that. And then we can talk about our, um, our person. And then let's say, for example, we have the pro version, we have the social media icons like we talked about. Now I don't have them here, but I wish I did, you know, cause we can add the social media icons below that to make it look really professional and really clean, but uh, we do not have that. So that's unfortunate. But if you have the pro version, you can add social icons at the bottom right there, okay? That's basically how I achieved this section right here. So you want a section like that uh, for the grid effect, that's how you achieve that section, okay? And the last section we're gonna do is this section right here. Now guys, this is really easy. This is this is too easy now for you guys. You know, now it's just being like repetitiveness. So I'm gonna click on this right here and go to our, uh, our modules right here and we use testimonials. Testimonials. So right here, you can talk about your company on the content right here. So this section right here corresponds to the content. And then for the image, I'm gonna delete that and just put this guy right here. This, this guy is the main guy today. You know, he's, he gets an A, you know? And then right here, you can put something like, you know, your company name. So I'm gonna put Daryl Wilson. And then job, I'll just do like WordPress, WordPress dude, dude. And then right here, you can do like alignments. You can change the alignments to whatever you guys would like. And then also from here on the style, you can change the content color to something else like black. And then the topography, open sans. You know, people love that font. I don't know what it is, but it's just the most popular font. So I don't know why, but people people really love it. You know, and here we can change like the size, you know, everything else, maybe uppercase, line height. You know, we can change the line spacing. 
Some companies do that, you know. I don't know that too much. I think that's too much. You know, I, I, I don't know. We got to tone it down there. That's too much. Something like that. That's a little bit better. And then for the image, you can change it for the name. So it's so customizable, you know, and I can't go through every option because the name corresponds to Daryl Wilson. The job corresponds to WordPress dude. And this stuff right here just corresponds to the font and the topography. So uh, just, you know, just go through it if you want and now that'll be it. Okay. So right here, I'm gonna click on this. Oh guys, one more thing. Don't forget to save, please don't. Don't forget to save because I've had people comment and are like, hey, Daryl, I was, I was building my website and then I didn't click on save. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm, I'm sorry that happened, but you know, what do you want me to do? I'll, I'll email you a Starbucks uh, $5 gift card or something, you know? So, I mean, that's, that's really all I can do, right? So going back over here, we completed it. Now, I wanna talk to you guys about the header right here. So this right here looks really good, right? And our website does not look really good. Our website, I keep opening that tab. Our website has this right here. So we need to go ahead and fix this section. So go ahead and save this stuff and let's go ahead and go to our, um, well, we can actually view the page. And then right here we can go to customize. So we need to change these options in the theme customizer. All right, so it's loading my theme customizer and there we go. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this transparent. And I'm actually gonna go through all these right here and explain what these are, just so you understand. You don't have to follow me here, but you guys can just kind of watch and understand and get the general concept. So site identity right here. So for example, like your website.com, you can put, put it up there, but I'm actually going to replace this right now with a logo. So it doesn't really matter what I put there. I'm just not gonna have this here because I'd rather have my logo there than um, you know this text. And I'll show you guys where to get a logo in just one second. And also for the site icon. So again, right here on the top left right here, you see we have these little icons whenever someone visits your website. You can go ahead and put it right there or whatever you want. So right here, I'll put this right here. And now you can see right here on the browser that that will show up whenever someone's visit my website. So I'm going to give you a, um, a website that you guys can get a logo from, it's really cool. And next right here is our menus. So we have menu location. Again, we talked about this. So we have the top bar, we have the main, and we have the footer. So we basically put that, and also for mobile, which is optional. So you can you know, decide to put it there. But it's generally, it's gonna be a hamburger menu for the mobile. So I'm not gonna go through that, but I will cover mobile optimization in the next section. So uh, make sure to stick around because that's extremely important. So going back over here, we have the widgets. We talked about the widgets right here on the bottom of the page. So again, right here, we have our widgets. Uh, going back over here, the static front page again, you always want to set your home page to uh, right here, like your static home page is this, and also your post page is whatever you want. And we'll talk about the blog in just a little bit. Uh, scrolling down here, we have the general options. So a lot of these actually don't really apply to us because we've actually used our own page builder and we didn't really use their page builder. So as a result, many of these right here are not really needed. But there are some like scroll to the top, like the scroll to the top button way at the bottom, you can go ahead and change that. See this icon right here? We can change that to something else we'd like, okay? So you can, you know, have fun with those and change those to whatever you want. Um, like the input text area, you know, I, yeah, this is the field is like at the way bottom right here. So you guys can kind of go through these and customize them and decide how you want it. But uh, I'm not gonna get too much into all these right here because a lot of these guys are not applying to us because we do not use their page builder, we use Elementor. And like for like the layout style, see, we don't really need to mess with any of this because We've actually had the plugin do all of this on our own, so we don't need to mess with any of the general settings whatsoever. Okay, so going back over here. Topography, again, we don't really need to use this too much because we are using our own right here. Like we don't need to basically like do like our body, like a font, but I mean, it actually really is helpful if you guys decide to use their page builder and everything else, but uh, we're not. So I'm not going to actually use it. And you guys can see it only applies to something like the menu or the web, like the top right here. But we're actually going to replace this right now. So it really, really doesn't matter. However, it actually does matter for the menu. So I wanna make sure that um, you guys don't skip this out. So if you look on the top right up here, you can see our menu will change. So it only applies to the menu and the footer menu as well, okay? So if you wanna go ahead and change some of those settings right here for the menu, this is where you're gonna do it. And I recommend doing something like, um, Let's see, we can do like capitalize, and we're doing like open sans. So let's go ahead, let's keep it at open sans right here. And I'll do something like, uh, we'll do like, you know, do like that, that looks pretty cool. And I think for this section, that's probably it. So I'm gonna go to save and publish. 
and go back right here. I'm gonna go back again. And right here we can go to top bar. Now the top bar we actually replaced. So that was the other bar right here. So we don't really need the top bar. So on this section, we're not really gonna use it for much because we actually disabled it. So uh, we don't need the top bar as well, okay? So I'm gonna go back and right here under header. Now right here we have like our general, our menu, our logo, etc. So your logo, you're gonna go ahead and put it right here. Now guys, you're gonna have to go to fiverr.com and I wanna actually talk about like good people and you know good sellers and everything. So you can type in something like logo. Now there's also a link in the description. It will take you to web, uh, I'm sorry, uh, fiverr.com. If you guys do purchase something, I think I make like a, I think I get like paid just by like traffic. I don't even know how, I never even like go to, to like my affiliate program. But uh, right here, you guys can see they have really cool uh, logo makers right here. So I will do a business logo. And you guys can get a logo for just like five bucks. And guys, you don't wanna cut corners with your logo. You know, your logo is a representation of you. It is what people see when they talk to you. So these people right here will make really cool logos for starting around $5. Like this guy right here, $5. These other guys right here, like that are like 25, you know, you don't have to use them. You can just use someone for five bucks. Uh, my logo was made for $5. So uh, these guys will provide you some really, really cool logos, okay? So go ahead and get it from one of these guys. And once you're done with that, uh, you guys can actually go back to your website and uh, insert it in. So right here under logo, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this for now and go to select. And then it wants you to like, kind of like say, oh, well, what part or like, you know, how much of the logo? So I'm just gonna like select this little bottle right here, you know, just, just for tutorial purposes, guys. So there it is, there's my new logo. And again, guys, you wanna make sure that it is PNG, okay? So this logo I have right here on my website, this is a PNG file. And what that means is it has no white background. So like this right here is a JPEG image. So as a result, it has a, it has a, a background. You don't want a background right there, okay? So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and like remove this. This looks horrible, you know? So I'm just giving you an example of what you would want uh, for your logo. I think the general size is around like, you know, 50 pixels by 50 pixels. So you wanna go ahead and use that as well. And you can also change the size of like the logo and everything right here as well, okay? So go to that website, get your logo for five bucks, and then come back here and you can go ahead and upload it right here, okay? And you have like the menu right here and you can like center it, you can do left, you know, a lot of these settings guys are very self-explanatory, like the link color, you know, the actually link color is the most important one. That's the actual color of your menu right here, okay? And then this right here is your secondary menu. So this right here about us is your secondary menu. So remember, we're never making customizations to your, your website. You wanna make sure that this is the secondary menu. So that's just letting you know what it is, okay? So I'm gonna put white right here. And the reason why I'm doing white is because I'm actually gonna add a transparent background. So I'm gonna go to save, go back right here, and this is like your menu social. You can go ahead and enable a social menu at the top. So you wanna go ahead and give it a social menu. You can do that, but I'm not gonna go ahead and have that. No thanks. Now going back over here uh, for your mobile menu as well. And I'll get into mobile optimization in the next section so you guys will understand it a little bit better. But this is just basically decorating your menu on mobile, okay? All right, so you're gonna go right here to general. And now you see the style right here? So we can style this menu different ways. So for example, right here, I'm adding a transparent background. So now you guys can see it's transparent or you can have top menu. You can also have full screen or center or medium or whatever you wanna do. So these are the example of the, um, the headers. Now custom headers, that's basically where you like make your own little header and you can do like a, like, you know, you basically make a header on a page and then you can select it right there. But it's really not needed. You know, the transparent menu is probably uh, one of your best options right here. So right here, I'm gonna click on this little header bottom border, and then that gets rid of that. Now guys, remember, you can actually just have a regular menu like this. Uh, most websites have it like this, you know? So this is like the standard. Now, the reason why it's trans the, the text is white is because remember, I added a transparent, I'm sorry, a white text. But again, you can change the background color to accommodate that, you know, so you can kind of see it a little bit. But I still want the transparent background. I, I don't want any of the, uh, I, don't want, I don't want to see anything right there, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and you can also change the height of the menu. So you can make it like bigger or smaller, but I think, I think it was like 74 was good. Now I'm gonna go over here and go to logo and I'm gonna go ahead and add in a logo right here. I'm adding these logos right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in to give it a little bit more of the, you know, an idea of it, stuff like that. So there it is, my logo. And you can also do like a retina logo if you want to, or you know, whatever you want, so. And then also you can change like the the, the height of it, the, the max width. Actually, I should probably probably remove that one. Let's see, put this to 500 and let's go ahead and redo that one. 
Okay. So there it is. There's my logo, guys. And again, if you guys need help, uh, make sure to go to Fiverr. You guys can get a logo for five bucks. You guys can use my link. I make like, you know, 10 cents. It's really, <laughs> it's really cool. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm actually going to introduce you all to another feature update. So sit back and relax. Now this feature update again, just came out. So right here, you guys see, I have these images right here. Now, if you want to be able to have people click on your uh, picture and have an image like that pop up, I'm going to show you how to do that. In fact, you can actually go ahead and change all of the colors when they actually click on it. So for example, right here, you can have all sorts of really cool uh, background colors if somebody decides to click on your image. And this will actually kind of match your scheme. So go ahead and click on an image or you guys can just go ahead and watch me. And when, when it says link to, just simply go to media file. And now this feature Lightbox, will pop up and simply just click on yes. Now there's also another global feature right here under global settings, which will have all of your images uh, have this. So opens a light box or op opens all image links that will have a light box pop up. Now to get this feature again, remember you have to have it linked to the media file. So what that means is the global feature is basically saying for any image on your website that is linked to a media file, it will open up a light box of this color right here. So global settings, light box, and for example, put this one right here. So now basically if I click on any of these images right here, it's always going to have this cool little light box. And this also works for the gallery module. So this will, you know, if you want to have people scroll through your images, you can go ahead and use the, um, the gallery module as well. And that will basically display all of the images where, you know, they can click on it. So it'd be this module right here, the, ga the image gallery. And again, they can like, go through and scroll all the images, um, all the images that you put inside the gallery. This will work as well. Okay. So it's a really cool feature update they added and they just released it. So if you guys are watching this today, congratulations, you guys are ahead of the game. So make sure to check out the feature updates. And also you don't want, if you don't want like all of the images on your website, um, you know, uh, if you don't want it global, you can go ahead and disable the global feature. So global settings and turn this off. And then you guys can just have it for the uh, each specific image. So remember, you'd have to go to this section right here and do it through each image. However, if you want it on your entire website, you don't have to go through all your images. You can go over here to global settings, lightbox, enable this and voila, it will automatically work on all the links to an image file. Okay, so be sure to check that out, guys. Now let's go ahead and go back to the tutorial. All right, guys, so in this section, I'm gonna show you all how to make a beautiful blog. Now, depending on what you wanna do, I'm going to show you two different ways. Now, one is the free way and also one is the pro way. And I'm gonna show you both just because if you guys wanna change your mind in the future or upgrade to the pro uh, or you wanna stay at the free. So this is the free version right here. And you're just basically gonna get like a little blog post right here. And you know, your blog will look beautiful. It'll look really, really cool. Your blog post will because we're gonna use Elementor to actually uh, design our actual blog posts. Now, if you guys decide to use the pro version, it can look something like this right here where you can go ahead and decorate it. So right here, you can see that on this top part right here, I have these cards and you can change the background and everything. And in this section right here, you can change the font, the color, the read more, the link. Uh, you can be very customizable with this version right here. Okay, so this is the uh, the pro version right here. So again, it's the same thing, except it just doesn't include this top part right here. So depending on what you want, I'm gonna show you both versions and then you can be the boss of your own website and decide what you want. So again, pro version, and this is the free version layouts right here. So let's go ahead and make the free version. So right here, I'm gonna go to plus new and go to page. Now I'm gonna do something like the, the free blog post version. Now for the sidebar, I'll just go ahead and leave the sidebar to the right because you might wanna use sidebars. I'll talk about widgets in just a little bit. Um, I'm going to disable the margins, the header, disabled, enabled, and then menu one. And then for the title right here, I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. And then what do you actually want to name this blog? Well, I'm gonna do something like the best blog ever. And then go ahead and put publish. So I'm gonna to go to view page. Now we need to assign this page as our blog page, okay? So to do that, we need to go to customize. All right, and then right here under static front page, you wanna select the post page as the free or whatever page that you created. So this is the free blog post version. So I'm gonna go to save, and then your blog post will show up right here. So I'm gonna go back right here. And also for the blog section right here, you can change your blog entries. So for blog entries right here, you can put your sidebar to the left. You can you know take off the overlay 
of the image. Now, in just a second, I'm going to show you how to make blog posts. So don't panic. Don't worry. Um, you guys can change the blog style. So right here you can see we have two. Now it's kind of grid like this. Um, you can change all sorts of stuff. You can have like three grid columns. Now also right here, the uh, element positioning, you can have like the title below the content. So you can see now the content shows up above the title. So you can kind of drag and drop them like that. It's a very amazing uh, blog feature they've added. But I want to go ahead and just like get rid of all the meta, like the author, the date, the categories. I don't want any of that stuff to show up on the blog page right here. So something that looks like that. Um, you guys can do uh, more excerpt, which is basically more characters. So instead of instead of basically 19 characters, now it's showing 42 words. Okay, so you can kind of reduce that. But now let's go ahead and make the actual blog post. So uh, I'm going to go back right here and uh, click on X. So this is the actual blog page. Okay, and then right here I'm going to go to plus new and go to post. So post, not page. And then this is the page we are creating. Now again, right here for the content layout, I'm going to use a layout from Elementor. So I need to make sure these are all on the settings that I need them on. So right here, header. You've probably done this a few times already. Yes, you guys are learning. Okay. And I'm going to go to publish. Okay, now I'm going to go to edit with Elementor. And all I'm going to do, guys, is simply go ahead and add a template right here. And I'm going to use the blog post template. These guys actually have a lot more on their website, so be sure to check out these layouts. So right here, I'm going to go do blog post launch. I think they have like two or three like styles. And again, you can just make changes right here. So you can put like your website, you know, the your website blog. Let me go ahead and delete all this. Voila. And then you guys can go ahead and just, you know, change the content here, do whatever you want because uh, everything's already done. Okay. So uh, that's basically how we did that. So right here, I'm going to go to save. Now, one more thing I want to do is I want to go to view this page right here. So this is the actual page right here. The, this is the actual post. Now, we need to make sure we need to change some settings. Like right here, we have this stuff at the bottom right here. We want to go ahead and change all this stuff. So right here under customize, let's go ahead and click on that. Now we need to actually go to the actual uh, customizer where it talks about the actual blog post. So not just the style, the actual post. So this is the single post right here. And uh, right here you guys can see now, I, I kind of recommend just getting rid of like mostly everything here because we're not really using any of their stuff right here. We're not using anything. So we're using Elementor's uh, version of this. So we really aren't, um, you know, we don't really need any of this stuff, you know. All right, so scrolling down here. Now all we have left is just the comment section right there. And I think content will actually get rid of all of our content. So you don't want to do that. You know, that's not good. You want to go ahead and make sure you have content and just comments. Maybe an author box too. You know, you can have an author box as well. Because with the Elementor page builder, guys, we don't need these other settings that the theme gives us because it's just not necessary because we're using Elementor's uh, page builder to design our own. So we don't really need any of that stuff. We're not obligated. Okay. So right here, I'm going to go to uh, click X. And now let's go ahead and go back to our page. Oh, I have, to, I have to close out of it. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our actual blog post page. So right here, we go to our page, so pages. So we did the free version. All right, so I clicked on that. And then we did, this is the page that we're creating. So this is the actual page. And if I click on it, it'll take them to this page right here. And voila, we have this beautiful blog post. Okay. Now, one more thing. If you want to add a featured image to this, you want to click on this right here and go to edit post. And you want to go ahead and add in a featured image. So scrolling down over here at the bottom, click on set a featured image. And this will basically allow you to put a featured image right there. I'm going to set this and then go to update. Okay. Now, instead of going to view the post, I want to go to uh, pages and I want to go ahead and see that page I did it. So uh, the free blog post. So this is the actual page. Remember the page we are creating and then voila, we have this section right here. Now this sidebar section guys is called the widget section. And basically what this is, is well, it's for a lot of things. You know, you guys can add a lot of things there. So click on widgets right here. And also you can go to appearance and widgets. Now see where it says sidebar. So right here we have all these little boxes right here. You can put like the about me. Remember how we decorated the footer? 
the same exact way you decorate the footer is the same exact way you would decorate the sidebar. You, you can add like a Facebook like box. You can add a subscription, like subscribe to my newsletter. I have a tutorial on that as well, guys. So be sure to check out my tutorial. It's a free resource. Take full advantage of it because I teach you all about MailChimp and how to use like email marketing, all that stuff at no extra charge, no cost. It's all free. So I'm gonna go ahead and close these sections. And then, uh, you know, social icons. You know, you can add social icons right here or something. And then again, you guys can add all sorts of, you can add a video, you can add all sorts of really cool stuff to your sidebar guys. So that's basically what the sidebar is and that's how easy it is to decorate your sidebar. Because you know when you go to like a blog page, they always have like a sidebar and stuff like that. Well, that's exactly what it is. So I basically, all I did was have search, recent posts, social icons and categories. Now for category, now for these things, these might show up. I don't know, because you have to set the dimension for it. Now it's really hard for me to know which plugin how it works guys because I have used thousands of plugins so every plugin has their own little way and they have their own little attitude so you kind of have to adjust to it so I'm gonna actually go to my dashboard and view that page right now okay so remember we made the free the free blog page so the, the free blog post version I'm gonna go to view the page and voila and again right here we have the recent posts we have the search bar the follow us I probably need to add in the little the little um, asterisk symbols to make the follow us icons appear and then we have categories because remember you can also categorize the blog post as well and if I click on this right here there we go we have a beautiful blog page okay so that's basically what we did right there okay guys so now that I've shown you guys how to do the free version I'm gonna go ahead now and show you all how to do the pro version okay so right here I'm gonna go to edit with Elementor Actually, I actually have a another one on this server. This one's actually a little bit quicker. This is a site ground. This one's actually much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my page right here. So you guys are probably a little bit now familiar with the page builder, guys. So I, I don't want to sort of go really basic and beyond because you guys probably understand how to do a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna go to edit with Elementor. And just like we made the home page and the about us page, you're gonna do the same thing right here, okay? But I wanna show you how I design this section, okay? So this section right here is actually a shape divider. And those are really cool. So if you wanna have this look right here, basically all I did was I clicked on this little top icon. I set this to stretch, full width. Now for the style, I actually set it as a shape divider. And then the bottom part, I gave it these wave brushes right here, okay? So, that's how I kind of design this. And remember, you guys can like, you know, change it. You guys can change the heights, all sorts of really cool stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna do waves as a waves brush. Now, how did I get this section right here? Well, what I actually did was I inserted an image. I inserted an image right here. So again, right here, I want you guys to look at this, this section right here. And guys, this same image is in the folder. Okay. So right here for this blue section, I just simply made a stretch section a full width section, style, normal, the background type is classic, and I put this image right here, okay? So basically all I did was I just basically put in an image, I stretched it all the way across, text module, and then I put a divider module. Now one really cool resource <coughs> I wanna give you all is how did I blend it in perfectly? So this is an image, but this is not. So how did I blend it in perfectly? Well, I'm gonna give you a website right now that's going to show you uh, how to actually get the color code off any image you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go to Google. And I'm gonna go to um, HTML color codes. HTML color codes. So it's this one right here. Uh, don't worry guys, the link is also in the description. So it's html-color-codes.info. Now right here, I'm gonna go to choose file. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the um, the Elementor one. So I have a lot of videos, you know, mostly this one. So, so right here, I have the home portfolio. And I'm gonna go to show image. I'm gonna click on this right here. See that, I clicked on that, it gives me the color code. Amazing, this, that's, this is amazing. So let's go ahead and go back to our actual um, page. Now this section right here, for this shape divider on this bottom part, I'm gonna actually put the code in there. But it's already there, but I'm gonna change the color on purpose. So shape divider, bottom, I'm gonna change it. Change it to this color, all right? Now the same color code these guys gave me, they're saying this is the code of that color. So all I'm gonna do is simply take this and paste it in there. And voila, it blends in perfectly, okay?
So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this section. This is like an old blog section. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the pro feature. Okay, so the pro feature is the uh, post section right here. So let's go ahead and find it. It's in the pro section. Oh, it's actually on my other website right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it and I'm gonna go ahead and add it in right now. Alrighty, I'm back. So I just installed the pro version of Elementor. So right here, I have the post section. Now I'm gonna take this right here and simply drag it to this bottom section right here. So now you guys can see I have this section right here. And all I did guys was I just basically put in some padding right here. some give it give the image some space and everything. Okay, so I did 120, 120, 120. And on this section right here, uh, I left it all blank. And then this section again, I left blank. Now, how did I get that achievement? So basically what I did was I took this right here and I reduced the margin. In fact, I made it negative. So I'm gonna click on this right here and do negative maybe 90. And now you guys can see I have the images kind of pushing up right there to give it that beautiful design. So that's exactly how I achieved that right there, okay? So um, all your posts will show up right there. And again, you guys can go ahead and take this, um, this module right here and you guys can decorate it, you know, you can just do like classic, they also have cards, which is like a new feature. So it's really clean, it's really professional. Um, you know, you can change the image size. Uh, you guys can kind of go through these settings. Now that you guys are familiar with how this page builder works, you know, you guys can go through all these settings because, um, you know, column gap, row gap, this stuff is pretty self-explanatory, you know, change alignment, the card, the border radius, you know, you can change it like that. There's so much you can customize with the pro features. It's it's simply incredible, you know. You can even have it like that, you know, and it just looks, you know, it looks really cool, even though it doesn't look like, it's not how it's supposed to, but you know, it looks good. So it doesn't matter how it, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You know, you can also have like an image hover over effect and you can give it like a gradient effect. You can do like the image, the color background, the text, the batch position as well. Uh, it's just limitless guys on what you guys can do to, you know, get customizable with this, okay? So, you know, go through this, check them all out. I don't wanna have to go through and go through, oh, topography, you guys understand what that is by now, okay? But that's how I achieved that look and it's beautiful, you know, it's a really clean look, you know, with this like, it's like clashing almost, you guys can see, it's, it's sort of clashing, you know, I can even add more, you know, more right here, maybe like we can add like one, 130, let's do 150. And then if I go ahead and reduce this, you're gonna see like how these just kind of push up and it looks like a split screen effect right there, okay? So that's basically how I did this section. All right, let's go on and move on to the next section. All righty guys, welcome to our first quiz. Now, I have these two images right here. It's a really beautiful design. It has really cool decor, but how did I make this? You know, how did I make these two images collide together? And you know, if you wanna do this for your website, I'm sure you want to kind of mess around and I'm gonna show you how I made this and how you can incorporate it on your website. So right here, I'm gonna to go to edit with Elementor and I'm also gonna talk about responsive issues as well. So basically all that I did here guys was I have two columns. I have one column and I have two columns, right? So all I really did was have one column right here, two columns right here. And this one right here, this column, I have full width, no gap, and I just stretched the section, okay? So this is basically, you know, one it's one giant section but with two columns. Now for this column right here, I decided to take the columns right here and put it on this section right here. So as a result, I have two images. So I have one and I have two. Now by default, it's gonna look something just like this right here. It's gonna look like this, right? So if I take the columns right here and I drag it over there and then I put two images, voila, voila, it's gonna look something just like that. So how I achieved this section was on this section right here, I put it as full width and I didn't really add any padding, but I added some margin. So the margin will do something like that right there. Well, it'll give it some space. So by adding some margin, I'm basically kind of centering it right there. And I can even go as far as 90. Okay, now for this column right here, I kind of want to move this column around. So I went to the advanced section. Now for the top right here, I'm gonna put 100. Now for the left side, I want to go ahead and do minus a negative 180. And voila, we have this clashing section. Now, if you look at it, it's beautiful. It looks great. Now, there's one note I want to make here, guys. This section right here is going to have responsive issues. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and disable this for the tablet and also the mobile because by default, it does not look good. So how can you prevent this from looking bad on mobile users? You can just go ahead and just disable this whole entire section, okay? So by going to the advanced section under the um, responsive, you can go to hide on tablets 
and hide on mobile, but it will appear for desktop users. So again, right here, we're gonna go ahead and visit it on mobile device and voila, it is gone, okay? So that's a quick alternative on how you guys can uh, make that page look really good along with responsive issues to fix it. Let's go ahead and scroll through the rest of this. So this guy's it will not show up. So again, uh, don't worry about this section too much because again, we disabled it on the tablets. Now, if you wanna see how it really looks, you can click on this and then scrolling down, you can see it's gone. See that? The images are gone. So it will be fully responsive and everything else, okay? So that's basically it. That's how I made it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quiz. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the tutorial. We're gonna talk about all their cool stuff. All right, guys, welcome to the mobile optimization section. So here we're gonna talk all about mobile optimization, tablet optimization, strategies to use, and you know just things to watch out for. So right here, I'm gonna click on Edit with Elementor. All right, so we have this section right here. Now to look how it, you know, to see how it looks on mobile, you wanna click this computer right here and go to tablet. So go ahead and scroll down and if everything looks good to your website, feel free to leave it. If it doesn't, then go ahead and change it. Now, one thing I wanna look at is this section right here. You know, I don't really want this section. So right here on this section right here, I'm gonna go to advanced, go to responsive, and I wanna disable this on tablet and mobile. The reason why is because I don't really care if people out there see these on mobile or tablet. You know, I don't want this section to show for mobile users. Have you ever been to like Skype.com or another website on mobile and it looks completely different than their actual desktop website? That's exactly what we're doing here. So right here, I'm gonna click on save. So I don't want this to show up. So let's go ahead and scroll down. This looks pretty decent actually. You know, I'm surprised. Usually there's a lot more work. But let's go ahead and see how it looks on mobile. I guarantee you on mobile, it's gonna need work. You know, it always needs works on mobile. So let's go ahead and scroll up. Ah, right here. So this doesn't really make sense. You know, welcome to Revolution. It's 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 too high up, you know, and it doesn't really make sense. Also, this is kind of out of whack. So let's go ahead and go to advanced. And I wanna go ahead and add a top margin of maybe like 100. Or no, let's do 50. There you go. That looks much better, right? So now you can see that this section is, is pushed down. And maybe this button right here needs to be aligned right here. So I think that looks a little bit better than it does as well. And also for this other button right here that's hidden behind it. Now there's a few things we can do. We can just disable the button or we can you know, uh, push this down more to make it show. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and disable this button because I don't wanna give the user too many buttons on his phone because they're a lot bigger and he might not see what it is. So under responsive right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, you know, we're gonna hide it. So now the user can only see the start. And honestly, this is a much cleaner idea than having two buttons that are like overlapping each other, right? So over here, again, maybe you wanna go ahead and center this text. So you can center it. And then here, same thing, we can go ahead and center it. Because remember, the user can't the user can't really understand our websites. I mean, I'm sure he looks from a computer, he'll be like, oh, I get the style, but if he sees it like this right here, everything's straight and forward, this is clean, this is very easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it like that. Now again, you can do the same thing for this bottom section right here. So scrolling down here. Does everything look okay to you guys? I think so. Remember this section is disabled on tablet and mobile. I hope Elementor will actually release a patch where they make it white out because for the Divi theme, it's actually white out so you can understand if it's disabled or not. Ah, here we go, right here. This section right here is too big. So let's go ahead and reduce the size of it. No experience needed. And then again, right here, we can go ahead and say, um, you know, this is actually, this is actually fine. Maybe we can make the text a little bit smaller. We'll, we'll center it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, actually, you know what, let's see what we can do here. There's a lot of different ways that we can go about this. But um, I think for this section right here, we can add like a top margin or something of like, let's see, add 50, 50, 50. No, that will not work. Okay, so I think that basically uh, it looks, <laughs> it's, it's better like that. But remember, video backgrounds will not play on any iOS device. So make sure that you have to add in a different background to this, okay? So if you guys remember, mobile users, cannot see uh, all that stuff, okay? So I'm just reminding you all that it doesn't work. Another way you guys can probably just fix this section is just disable it, you know, because this section right here, I remember users that are on mobile can't see video, so let's just go ahead and disable it, you know? It's it's too messy and I'm just saying, you know what? I want a simple website. The, the smaller your website is on mobile, the better because people are gonna have to scroll a lot on their phone, you know? From a desktop, it looks very different, right? But for a phone, they have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. They're gonna say, you know what, this site's way too long, it's way too big, I'm leaving. You know, I'm leaving this site, it's way too big. So scrolling down here, 
So we have this section right here. We have we bring something special and we have these two things right here. Now, remember earlier how we had these as background, but we added just a small um, a module to basically let people see the background on mobile. So I'm sorry, on desktop. So this section right here needs some work, right? We have this section and it doesn't really look good. Now, one section I do want to talk about that you guys probably saw, but you guys probably didn't understand was this section right here under responsive, which is the reverse columns. So if I click on reverse columns right there, it's gonna put this picture on top and this picture on top of this. Now by default, it comes like this. And I'm really glad this page builder introduced this because this was actually a big problem for a lot of other page builders because on mobile, no matter what you did, it would come out like that and it sucked, you know? So right here, I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna rever reverse these. And here we can actually put some text and make it a little bit bigger. So right here, let's say you wanna add some, um, you know, we can just make this a little bit bigger. We can go ahead and say, um, we can change the height right here. So the height, minimum height, we can kind of increase the height. Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry, for the heading right here. We'll want to go ahead and increase the um, the heading size. So again, we'll go to this and we'll, we'll just add some margin. You know, we'll just add like 100 to it. There you go. So we can do it like that. Or another good way is you guys can reduce the, or just, just get rid of this section altogether. Say, you know what, I don't want a picture here. So under advanced, I'm gonna go ahead and go to responsive and say, I don't want this on, I don't want to show this. But that's if you decide to have that. So if you like this look, um, you know, feel free to have it. If not, you guys can just disable that. And then as a result, you just have this section. And then, you know, maybe you could, you know, get rid of it. It really depends because you'll have to basically go over here and increase the margin on it to make it look like somewhat decent, you know? So you guys can do it like that or you guys can just go ahead and disable that section altogether. Okay, scrolling down. All right, everything looks pretty good. All right, so remember that section was disabled on mobile, so don't worry about this section. Sometimes these 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 literally skinny sections are just really hard to, to show up on mobile. So it's better off just to get rid of it because it's just it's just not needed. You know, it doesn't it doesn't even play. Um, you know, it doesn't even play the the mobile or the the video anyways on mobile. So as you guys can see now that section right now, that video section is gone. So this is a perfect preview of what your customers will see. So simple, easy, perfect, looks really good, right? Except for that logo, but uh, don't worry, that logo will actually shrink when you actually go into it on, it's not gonna show up that same size. So it's just doing that because that's the logo of the size on our media, okay? So let's go ahead and go to another page. Let's go ahead and go to dashboard. And let's go ahead and go to another page and let's Let's see if we can find something really hairy, you know, really, really bad that we just really need to work. I guarantee you on this page, <laughs> we're gonna have to change something, you know? So I'm gonna go to edit with Elementor. All right, and I'm gonna go over here and go to tablet. Now, I didn't really optimize this section at all for tablet, but looking at it, oh, this section right here. So this section right here, it has, these are so clustered together. Um, as a result, we'll either have to remove this whole section or we will have to make these very, very small. Now, my personal advice is to just get rid of this section because honestly, it's too it's too clumped together. You know, it's just not gonna work for mobile users. So over here, I'm gonna go to responsive and hide this right there. Okay, and I'm gonna go to save. All right, let's keep scrolling down. Now this section right here. So again, this section right here will not appear on mobile users, but I have actually a really good strategy that I wanna show you all that I've actually used in the past for another tutorial. So basically, look, this section doesn't work, right? But let's just say you really, really want this section. So go ahead and just duplicate this section. Let's see how we can do this right here. All right, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, um, go on the desktop. Now this is a really cool strategy. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. All right, now this section right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a background. All right, and I kind of want you guys to, to understand the um, the logic behind this, okay? So let's just say, for example, that this is a video background, okay? And this will not play. So here, I'll give you guys a, um, or I'll, I'll do something like this here. No experience needed. This is mobile. And then right here, but this is computer. Okay, so what you guys can do is that if you have a video background and it just it's not working out, you can actually disable this section for computer and you can disable this section for tablet and mobile users. Okay, so let me give you a better understanding. Okay, so right here, this is for the computer, this is for the mobile. Now, 
this is great for video backgrounds. So remember if this is a video background that this will not show up. So you basically want to accommodate that for mobile users. So try to understand the logic here. I, I know this might be confusing, but uh, I'm gonna have to show you anyways because I wanna make sure that if you guys have a website, it's working properly. So right here, this is for computer, and then this is for the mobile. So I wanna actually disable this section right here for the computer. Oh, I'm sorry, this section right here. Advanced, responsive, and I wanna go ahead and um, no, I'll disable this one right here for the computer, okay? So the logic is, guys, this section will not show on tablets or mobile users, okay? So it will not show. Now for this section, I wanna go ahead and say, you know what? Oh, the blue section again, sorry. Advanced, responsive, and hide on the desktop. So the, the logic here, guys, is that if you have a section right here that you want to show on computer and then one on tablet, basically, this section right here will play on computers. This section right here will play on mobile. But people on computers will not see this and people on mobile will not see this section. And this is the best idea if you have a video background section. You will need to make another section for it, okay? So let's see if I give you guys an example of the mobile. And I'm gonna go ahead and trick it down. So I see how it says this is mobile. So you see the other part where the computer is gone. So basically the part where the computer is, is gone. So uh, this is the best alternative if you are trying to have video backgrounds. Now let's go ahead and fix that section right there. That looks pretty ugly, you know? Because I, I only use it for the, uh, I only showed how it looked on tablet. Let's see right here. So tablet, it looks okay. But um, for the mobile, we'll need to change this right here for mobile. We we'll need to make sure that this is hidden. So again, you guys, remember to if you if you make it bigger like that. Uh, remember that's that's the after effect. So right here, that other computer part was gone. Okay, but if you open this, it's going to show up. Okay, so uh, just make sure you don't get fooled that you're like, oh, I thought I disabled it. it. It is disabled. This part is disabled. It will not show up. Just this part will. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and center this, and let's go ahead and make the size a little bit bigger. This is mobile, and there you go. You know we can change we can change these things, but um. I think that's fine, you know, I think that's okay. Scrolling down here, these are all okay. Meet the team, this looks all okay. Now this section right here, you might not need all of these. You know, you might not need all of these, so uh, you can probably just disable, you, know, you can probably disable this section. You know, I don't think you really need it, but uh, if you want to have these, you can go ahead and probably get rid of these on, on, the, um, on, the, uh, on this section right here. Now the problem with this, guys, is that uh, you guys can actually delete the pictures right here. So uh, as a result, you're going to have to basically, um, oh, you know, you can, sorry. So for these images right here, you guys can go ahead and delete them all. So let's say, for example, you just want this one and you don't need these ones. So one, two, and three, you don't need them. Just go and click on this one right here, advanced, and then again, responsive, and then hide on the, hide on the, um, hide on the tablet and the mobile. Okay. So hope you guys understand that. Sorry guys, it's kind of late. So if I, uh, <laughs> if I go over or something like that, it's like it's like four in the morning here. So uh, again, responsive, I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. But that's kind of like my schedule. You know, my schedule is actually really late. So right here, responsive, disable these, okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at it on our mobile, our mobile device. All right, so now you can see those other images are gone and we just have this one right here. And if we scroll up right here, you see where it says, this is mobile. And the other part where it says this computer is gone. So that is a very good idea. Now this section right here, you know, it's kind of, you know, it kind of doesn't work out. You know, you guys can see that's on mobile. It just doesn't really, doesn't make any sense. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So maybe right here we can go ahead and, um, you know, fix this part. Maybe we can actually use the reverse option I think they have right here. The reverse columns. That might work. So now this section is on top and these are on bottom. But... Do you really need this section? Do you really, really need it here? Probably not. You know, you probably don't need these number counters either because, I mean, it depends. It really depends on what you really want your customers to see. Uh, I would disable these ones right here. So remember to disable the module, click on this one right here, advanced, and then again, responsive, and get rid of those ones, okay? But if you wanna get rid of the whole column, you'll have to click on the um, this section right here, advanced, responsive, and that will disable it for that section right there, okay? So, um, oh, that's really ugly, oof. Oof, it has to go. Imagine if someone came to your website and they saw that. They're going to be like, well, were you drunk when you made this website, you know? So we need to make sure that uh, this is, you know, it's, it's fully optimized. So let's go ahead and change the size. 
and there you go. So that looks a little bit better. We can make the weight. Oh no, the weight will change it. So 300 was perfect. And there you go. That's a really clean, that's a really clean about us page. You know, about and then blah, voila. Okay, scrolling down. Anything else? Remember, this section will not show up, so just ignore that. You know, uh, I hope they change that. I really do, you know, because it's really annoying because if I actually view it, it disappears. But if I open this part, it shows up again. You know, they should have it like grayed out, you know, right? Grayed out. So make sure to write Elementor and say, hey, guys, you know, make sure to grade out so when we're doing mobile optimization, uh, you, you can, you know, know better. And guys, this is so important because Google just released a huge update and now they rank websites based off how well your site is optimized for mobile. So it's extremely important because if you decide to make the site and you don't optimize it for mobile guys, you will your site will only not look like crap, but it will not be found either. So um, this section of the tutorial guys is very, very important. Do not ignore mobile optimization. Many people do, many, many people do, and it can destroy your website. It really can because, you know, sites are, are, are ranked based off your, um, your optimization. So let's go ahead and view page. So that was actually pretty simple, guys. You know, it looks really, really good now. I mean, and as you guys go back, nothing was changed. You know, nothing was changed on the computer. So it was only for the mobile users and the uh, tablet users as well, okay? So I hope this section was very helpful, guys. Um, again, you know, you always wanna make sure it's optimized for mobile. It's very important. You know, go to every single page, go to your blog post, go everywhere with your phone. You know, open up your phone right now and go to the websites and say, does this look good? You know, uh, is, is this acceptable? Will people like it? And you have, you know, some decent judgment so you can make these own decisions, okay? So now let's go ahead and go to the last section. We're gonna talk about the contact us page and we're gonna talk about closing thoughts and future videos, all right? I'll see you there. All right, guys, so we're going to now create our contact us page. And the great part about this contact page, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be amazing, and all of the emails will go straight to your inbox. And I'm going to actually show you all proof that when someone sends a message, it will go directly to your inbox, okay? So let's go ahead now and create this same exact contact us page. You guys can see there's a video background playing. It's, it's a very stylish, creative page and I think your visitors will love it, okay? So let's go ahead now and create it. So I'm gonna go over here and go to plus do and go to page. And we are going to create this contact us page. So here, contact us page. And again, right here for the content layouts, make sure you have these same exact settings. So default, margins disabled, header, enabled, and then menu one. And then the title, disabled, and then there you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and publish this contact us page. All right, and edit with Elementor. And you guys can actually go to like uh, YouTube and get a lot of videos. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys where you guys can get a lot of these like beautiful videos like this, where they'll just play. And the great part is the audio will not play in the background. So that's a very big plus because that's really annoying. You know, when you go to a website and like, you know, music starts to play, like you ever been to like CNN or something where they start playing those advertisements and you're looking for it, trying to close it and you can't find it and they hide it. It's like, you guys are so annoying, you know, it's uh, okay. So anyways, so right here, I'm gonna do heading and I'll do something like contact us and insert that there. Style, let's make this uh, white. Topography, open sans. Now we have to add the background right here to see it. You know, we can't really see what's going on here. So again, this section, stretch the section, full width, style. We're gonna go ahead and click on classic, image to add a background. And I'll go ahead and select, uh, we'll just select anyone, this one right here. Okay, and then right here for the size, I'm gonna do cover, okay? Or we can do, I think it's contain. No, yeah, cover, cover is the right one, yeah. All right, so right here, I wanna go ahead and add in some, um, we need to add some padding to it, you know? So right here, I'm gonna add like something like a, we need like 100, 100, something like that. Then right here, I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So size, a little bit bigger, contact us. And then I think what really works is the 300 and then the line spacing, you know? It just looks, that looks professional. You know, that looks really good like that. So uh, I recommend doing it like that. Now, the next section we're gonna do is this section right here. So basically, I made the contact us and we're gonna go ahead and make this section right here. So basically what I did was I just made a one column row and I kind of destroyed the padding right here and I introduced a video background in the back. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here, one section. And then right here, I'm gonna do something like, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, like don't be shy. 
don't be shy contact us put that in the center all right so it's in the center now I'm gonna click on this right here and go to stretch a section and I want to go ahead and make this full width now I want to go ahead and add some padding to this I'm gonna add some padding of uh, make sure to unlink this right here so it only wants 200 to the right and then 200 to the left okay I'll explain why I do that in just a little bit now also right here for this these you know this section right here the actual heading I want to go ahead and add some padding to a little bit of everything you know because everything's a little bit too close so we're gonna go ahead and add 10 10 10 and that basically just kind of kind of give it space around everything and then on this section right here I want to go ahead and go to the advanced section right here and I actually want to go ahead and add in some uh, padding and margin so I'm gonna double click both of these and I'm gonna put 40 and I'm also gonna put 40 right here and I'll also for the padding I'm gonna do 40 40 and then also for the left I'll do something 40 so basically now you guys can see that what I've done is I'm basically kind of just putting space uh, around over here so that's basically where the video is gonna go okay so once you guys get a better visual of it you guys will understand so let's go ahead and keep uh, designing this little section so I'm gonna go ahead and put this black and uh, you know we let's we should use the, the new text shadow you know guys this just came out so it's really cool that these guys introduced this especially if you have like a two color scheme you know you guys can get all creative you guys can make the blur it doesn't come out too good because probably it's too light you guys can see the blur right there it doesn't come out too well on white backgrounds but like on my home page it's, it's amazing you know so uh, let's just let's just go back to the basics you know open sands and then I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size here and I like the 300 and I like the uh, the transformation of uppercase something like that okay and then right here I'm gonna go ahead and add in a divider you guys are gonna be like yeah divider they're all like you get it we love it you know but uh, the divider is amazing guys it really it just adds a lot of decor to your sites it looks really cool so black and now right here I'm gonna go ahead and insert a text module I guess you want to call them widgets or modules I don't really know it's everyone out there you know it just really depends you know it depends on your background you know so okay so this section right here guys we can either use the pro contact form and if you have the pro contact form um, it's gonna look something like this right here so I'll give you an example now guys I'm actually going to show you uh, a free version so don't worry if you guys don't understand how to use the pro version but uh, with the pro feature you get it you get the, the contact form so like right here you guys can see on the pro elements that's uh, the contact form is gonna be right there so form so for example if I just delete this right here and then I take the um, where is it the forms and drag it you can have a contact form or is it there it goes like that and you guys can like go through all these and design it you can do like actions action after buttons um, there's all sorts of really cool settings in the pro ones you guys can do like the row gap you can change like the spacing there's a lot of stuff you guys can change in the pro features so if you guys are interested in the pro version I recommend to get it because you can decorate all this stuff and you can keep adding new things like you know right here you want to add like a phone number or you want to add like an address you can go ahead and insert it right there and then just say like you know this is gonna be uh, we can change this to like a address or something or whatever you want so you can see there's a new uh, a bar right here all right so this is with the pro version now I'm actually gonna show you the free version as well but before I do that let's go to YouTube let's go to YouTube and do something like um, 4k with wind so I do 4k with wind swallows or whatever you guys can just do 4k scenery just 4k and you'll get a bunch of these videos there's tons of them out there so just go ahead and grab one and I'm just gonna grab this you know this one right here I'm gonna go ahead and copy this I'm gonna go over here now I'm gonna click on this section right here which is the edit section go to style and go to video background and simply go ahead and paste that right there and I might not show up right away but uh, you guys get the you guys get the uh, you know the general point and idea so I don't want it to basically show up right here I mean I'm sorry I don't want this section to be like hidden so on this section right here we need to add a white background you know by adding a white background it will actually give us that look of having a contact form that's not part of the background so you guys can see now since I added the white background on this specific column now we have this really cool uh, stylish contact form and guys I strive for modelism I'm sorry <laughs> the modelism modernism in all my tutorials you know what good is a website if it's not beautiful and creative anyone can make some ugly website but guys 
Having beautiful websites is what makes people stay and buy on your website. It doesn't matter what you're selling. You could be giving away free cars on your website, but if it looks kind of scammy and looks kind of shady, they're gonna be like, yeah, I don't like this guy. This site's ugly, I'm leaving, you know? That's really what it is. So remember, the website is a representation of you. So let's go ahead now and save this. And if you guys choose to have the content, uh, pro version, I recommend it. Uh, the link is in the description. You guys can go ahead and buy it. it it's almost like crazy not to get it because it's like 50 bucks for the entire year. But I would just get the unlimited for the $200 for the entire year because, I mean, how much money do you spend on like, you know, beer or like junk food or like Starbucks coffee? You know, you probably spend like, you know, $20, $30 a day on nothing that you really need, right? So, uh, you know, having something that's an investment is actually much better. So let's go to the dashboard right here. And we're going to go to plugins and go to add new. Now, this is the free alternative, so we're gonna type in Ninja Forms. Ninja Forms is actually a really good uh, contact form. You know, I use a, a bunch of them. I used to recommend Contact Form 7, but I gotta be honest, I don't know what the hell happened to them. Like, they just they just destroyed their own plugin. Like, I used to recommend it, I loved it myself, and me and my developers were just like, hey bro, like, the Contact Form's not working, and I'm like, what's wrong with it now? Like, always a problem, <laughs> you know? So, I recommend Ninja Forms now. So this is Ninja Forms, and if you guys notice on the left side right here, you'll see Ninja Forms. So going over here to Dashboard. And you can basically create your own form. So right here, they give you a basic, um, they already basically give you a form. So right here, you have name, email, message, and then submit. Now these red asterisks mean that these are required. Now let's say you wanna go ahead and add something in. Click on this little plus symbol, and you can just basically drag and drop anything you want. So you want a city, you want the first name, you can just drag it right there. You want the product you want the quantity, you would simply go ahead and drag and drop everything right here. Now this this page builder, I'm sorry, this um, contact form, it can do a lot guys, it can really do a lot. So I don't wanna spend too much time talking about it. I will have a tutorial down the road on more contact forms, but you guys can probably already understand that it's just a drag and drop thing. So I don't really wanna to go too much into it because you, know, you guys are already smart people if you made it this far. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this right here. And I just need the short code. So this right here is the short code. Okay, so short code. So let's go ahead now and go to, or first actually let's change the email address we have on file. So uh, the email address that this goes to, we need to actually fix that. So we wanna make sure that um, it's in the right, it's going to the, the correct email. So we need to go to our WordPress, our user section and change that. So we're gonna go down to our settings and go to general. And again, make sure that this email is the one that it goes to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it for this one right here. And basically the Ninja Forms will correspond to it and they will send emails based off whatever you have in here, okay? So remember, uh, this right here is what you need. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our page. So I'm gonna go to all pages and I'm gonna go to the contact us page and I'm gonna go to view, all right? And now you guys are gonna see the video is gonna, whew, beautiful. That is gorgeous, I gotta be honest. Now this top section is probably not as good looking. So you might wanna find a good image. You know, guys, these are just for tutorial purposes. So don't build the same exact website. You know, use your own images, go to unsplash.com and everything. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. So right here, I'm gonna grab this heading. I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there. I'm gonna delete all this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this and go to align center. Now I'm gonna go to save. All right, and now let's go ahead and go to view the page. And voila, we have a beautiful contact form with this beautiful kind of video just kind of, just just comes in right like that. Looks amazing, right? That is a beautiful contact form. So here I'm gonna do like uh, Daryl Wilson, and then uh, email, I'll just do like um, able.com, and then we'll do like howdy. Now, this might come this color because that's the color we used. Now you could change it on the black or you could change the italics, but I cannot guarantee you if that will actually change the current font and everything because I've never tried that. So I really don't know if that will work. I don't know if the Elementor Page Builder will actually change the font for another plugin. That would be actually really cool. That would be amazing. So you guys can see right here, um, you know, and also the person that sends the email will get a confirmation for it. Okay, so. Uh, they kind of get notified and you also get notified. So let's go ahead now and check my email. So I'm gonna click on my email and voila. So you see right there, new message from Daryl Wilson, howdy. And that is from the, um, that's from my website right here, okay? 
So remember, if also sometimes in rare cases, it will go to spam. If it does go to spam, contact your hosting company and find out why. A lot of the times is because when people send these contact forms, they might just send something really quick. You know, they might just send like a message and the plugin recognizes it as spam. So if I type in something like Daryl and then, you know, sometimes when the message is written too fast and like it's something like this, sometimes in rare cases, it will go to spam. So. Uh, if that happens again make sure to check your you know talk to your web hosting company see what you can fix that but a lot of that is probably having to do with the plugin so let's go ahead and check it and you guys can see now it does not show up because it just came from a really bizarre uh, email and you know see it did show up as spam for this one because who writes a message like oh you know no one does that so uh if you do get a result like where you're ending in spam uh, be sure to check that out okay guys so uh this is the end for the contact us page very easy very self-explanatory again i recommend getting the the actual um pro section you know actually really really quickly let's go ahead and, we're gonna go on a mission right now let's go ahead and find out if this will actually um carry the color and the font Let's go and find that out. You know, I I don't want to leave that. I'm a perfect. It's kind of funny. Like I'm doing a tutorial on like how to do this, and I'm like, how do I do this? But I've never tried that. I've never seen if the Elementor Page Builder can actually change the fonts for another page or for another plugin. So we're gonna find out right now. So I did this. You know, let's make it skinnier. Let's make it a little bit skinnier to find out. There we go. Now we'll find out. Or it might just change the color. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and find out. And it does not. So it just changes the color, guys. So if you want the color change, just change the color, but it's not going to change the font and everything else, okay? But it's still an amazing contact form. Very beautiful, very professional, okay? So that's about it for this contact section. Let's go ahead and go on to the next section. Hey, guys. So in this quick, small section, I'm going to show you all how you can export layouts, how you can import layouts, how you can save certain sections, and you can you know, put them onto different parts of your website. Maybe you kind of want to keep your website similar and you want to save some work and export it to a different page. I'm going to show you how to do all that right now. So I'm gonna first start off by adding a template. Now these are all templates that come with Elementor. Now there are some pro ones and you will have to get the pro version to uh, receive those. Now the link for the pro version is also in the description, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh, law firm right here as a home page. Now right here, I'm gonna go ahead and change this title right here to Daryl Wilson, darylwilson.com. Now there are some other features I wanna talk about. So let's say for example, you just want this section right here. You just want this big M section right here. So in order to do that, all you need to do is click on the save icon right here and put something like uh, the header image section and go to save. Now you can go ahead and export that to another website. You can slap that on to a different part of another part of your website or whatever. Now let's say you wanna go ahead and save your entire page. So I've shown you how to save sections right here, right? Now I'm gonna show you how you can save the entire page. So right here on the bottom left, you see this little folder right here? Click on that and go to save template. Now I'm gonna put Daryl Wilson Law page and I'm gonna click on save. Okay, so I have these two sections right here. Now right here you see how it says export. Now let's say you wanna go ahead and take this same exact page and export it to maybe a different website. So right here, I'm gonna click on export and I click on uh, leave. And now you can see that right here on the bottom left, I have a .json file, okay? So basically, all of that stuff that I just put is on that file right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how you can load it onto different websites or whatever else. So look, we have the header image section, which is the top section. I have the entire page and then I actually have a layout. So I have three different templates right here, and I'm gonna show you all how you can put it onto different parts of your website. So let's go ahead and make a new page then. Let's just go ahead and make a whole new page. So right here, I'm gonna go to my dashboard. I'm not gonna save this. Now I'm gonna go to plus new and go to page. So right here, I'm gonna do layouts. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this section right here. So 100% full width, default, disabled, Again, you don't have to follow me here. I'm just basically showing you all how you can uh, export and import layouts. So right here, I'm gonna click on edit with Elementor. So I'm first gonna show you all how you can uh, use the ones that we saved onto the library. And I'm gonna show you all this bottom left one right here on how you can actually import that onto another website, domain, or a different part of your website. So here, I'm gonna click on add a template. Now right here under my templates, you're gonna see header image section, insert, and voila. Now we have darylwilson.com. You guys can see it just took 
the header part right there. So there's no reason why you'd want to do all the hard work again. So that's a, a very good shortcut way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go add a template, my template, and click on Daryl Wilson Law Page and click on Insert. So now you see DarylWilson.com and instead it brings the entire page, guys. So you don't have to sit there and you know design all the websites again from scratch. You can go ahead and use the layout system, which is incredible. I mean, it's it's so amazing how fast you can make websites and how easy it is. Now let's go ahead and talk about this one right here on the one that we exported, right? So maybe you want to take that and put it on a different domain or you want to put it on a different website, right? You can kind of like make pre-made websites and actually businesses actually have full-time business structures where they just make layouts and sell them to developers and those people use them on clients' websites. So I'm gonna click on X right here and go to dashboard. Now over here under Elementor, I'm gonna go to my library. Now right here on the top, I'm gonna go to import templates. So I'm gonna click on browse right here. And all I need to do is find the templates. So it was the .json file. So I'm just gonna do .json. And there it is. So I think it was this one. It's one of the two. I think it's, uh, I'll just take a gamble. I think it's this one right here. So go to open and go to import now. And voila, now we have the page right here. So you can see uh, it's published right here. These other ones are just like duplicates ones I made. So it shows you your entire library, but uh, these have the same titles because that's basically uh, what we imported and exported on our website. Okay, so this is the one that we have right here. Now again, you can export it, you can do whatever you want. You can edit with Elementor. So all you need to do is go ahead and make a new page and Daryl Wilson Law page right here. It was made one minute ago. So you can go ahead and import that. So right here, uh, pages, add new. law page and then again I'm just gonna go ahead and change some of these sections right here so 100% full width default header blah 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 all this mumbo jumbo same stuff okay publish edit with Elementor now right here add a template if I go to my templates right here you can see that I have two so this is the correct one right here this is the most recent one and if I go to insert it's going to show up right here on my website, voila. So remember, that's how you would, you can export it here and then you would import it to the library on another domain that has Elementor and then you can go ahead and just use that on any domain or any other websites, okay? So uh, that's basically a quick rundown of the templates. It's amazing what this page builder can do. It, it saves you so much time and I highly recommend to get the pro version because then you can take advantage of all of their pre-made layouts that they have created, okay? So that's about it guys for this section with the pre-made layouts and everything else. Uh, be sure to check it out. And remember guys, it's all about working, not working harder, but working smarter. All right guys, well congratulations. You guys have made it to the end of this tutorial. Uh, I wanna go ahead and say congratulations. You guys have learned a incredibly valuable skill which is trending and will never really get old, you know? Now I wanna actually give you guys more resources and different things that you guys can use to further your either career or knowledge with WordPress and making websites. Now my YouTube channel guys provides a lot of free valuable information like if you wanna use you know, membership programs or you wanna sell online or you wanna sell on Facebook or you wanna learn Facebook marketing. I provide all of these free courses on my YouTube channel. So for example, right here, I review some web hosting companies. Right here, I talk about an e-commerce website. And right here, I talk about a real estate website with WordPress. So I talk about everything, guys. So if you guys have questions regarding stuff, also like, you know, how to make a forum, how to do email marketing, like the best, you know, uh, free e-commerce WordPress themes or the Divi theme or all this stuff, WooCommerce. Guys, uh, all the resources are here. So be sure to check out my channel. Uh, there is a lot of knowledge that you guys can get with this because I go over everything, you know, YouTube advertising, Google Analytics, anything you possibly think of, I talk about on my channel. So I am a big WordPress promoter. I like to promote all things with WordPress because it's amazing. It, it's, a, it's the most uh, biggest advancement of technology we've probably ever had in history. So I wanna go ahead and share you guys with all these videos to make sure that you guys can further your skills, learn SEO, learn 
web design, whatever you want to learn, be sure to check out my channel. Also, be sure to check out my website right here. Go to my blog. I also you know, have some blog posts. You guys can also subscribe to my newsletter. I give away a lot of free stuff like uh, plugins. I give away a lot of layouts, a lot of really cool stuff. So be sure to check out my uh, blog and also my Udemy courses, guys. So this course actually will be taught on Udemy as well. And again, I want to let you guys know that um, my... I'll be very honest, guys. My content is very, uh, it's very high quality. You know, all of my classes right here are, you know, four and a half stars or better because I want to be very thorough. I want to, you know, I don't want people to watch my videos and feel like they didn't learn anything, you know, because I was there too, where I watch videos and be like, you know, I watched this video, but I didn't learn anything. You know, there's a lot of people out there that do that and that's not me, that's not who I am. I want to help my viewers. I want to help you guys uh, succeed in your careers or whatever you're trying to learn. Also, my Facebook page. Feel free to go to my Facebook page, guys. Go ahead and like it. Go ahead and give me a comment. Uh, rate it. Let me know what you guys thought about this because, um, you know, your feedback, it really helps me out. You know, companies out there pay millions of dollars for feedback, and I'm asking you guys to provide it for free. So, again, you guys can go to my, you know, Facebook page. Send me a message. And, guys, I try to get to all my messages as I can, but, you know, it's, it's really hard to get to all the messages. You know, I, I get, like, you know, 50 to 100 emails a day, and just responding to all those is <laughs> it's a lot you know it's it's a lot to uh it's a lot to do that you know it really is so um be sure to check out my channel guys be sure also to check out my udemy courses i'm also on skillshare and go ahead and see me on facebook okay guys so congratulations on your website uh really um if you made it this far you know pat yourself on the back most people would not because a lot of people don't want to invest the time to learn such a very valuable skill it, it drives me crazy i'm like dude i'm teaching you how to how to start your own business in a matter of three hours but you rather sit there and spend hours on forums or something trying to learn something that you can be taught right here for free okay so again guys congratulations on your websites be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see all of you in the next tutorial